Welcome to The Notorious Scoundrels, a podcast focused on tactics and competitive play for Star Wars Legion. Hosted by Kyle Dornboss, Michael Barry, and David Zelenka, with Jay Shalansky, the man behind the glass. Two. One. Welcome to Notorious Scoundrels After Dark, the anniversary zode. Is that a word? Sure, it is now. <laughs> so it is. Uh, it has been, in fact, been one year since we started this podcast, um, which is kind of amazing. What the what? Um, so I'm here with uh, David and Mike and Jay, as usual. Hello. Um, and we have video this time. So, um, right. yeah, not only do we have video, we are going to... So this is going to be a little bit different than usual. Usually we talk about stuff the whole time. Um, and it's a podcast. Uh, <laughs> but this yeah. is going to be this is going to be more like a um, streamed sort of how-to game with the Clone Wars factions. Yes. So with... with uh, with Clone Wars coming out this past weekend, we figured it would be a good time to do like a, um, you know, running how to on the new factions. Sure. And uh, so I'd like to say real quick, this is Jay, everyone, that uh, if you are listening currently on the podcast, you can go over to our YouTube channel and you can actually watch the entire recording of this. So uh, if you li- you can listen on the podcast still, we're going to try to talk through everything. But then, you know, I highly recommend going over to the YouTube channel and checking that out as well. It's going to be great. Everything's great, man. The whole world's great. great. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So we're going to do this on uh, TTS uh, because it's easy to record. <laughs> um, right. But uh, uh, so you can follow along on, on the YouTubes. Um, and hopefully if you're just listening to the audio, this is still going to be interesting enough. We're going to be talking about um, lots of things over the course of this game. Um, Mike and I are, of course, going to be walking through what we're doing and why with the new factions. Um, yeah, yeah. But uh, also, Jay and David are going to be uh, trash talking us and second guessing our moves and generally um, being yeah. entertaining. So, uh, <laughs> um, heckling a little bit, you know. You know yeah. how it goes. Yeah. It's so, it's a Legion game without heckling, you know? That's right. So, this should be a good time. Um, banter banter a plenty and without further ado let's you guys want to get into this so just one more caveat this is uh just corset so um only clone war stuff that is available in the corset these are the at least from our perspective um the most competitive builds that you can do with the corset stuff yeah so kyle why don't you run us through your list yeah, so I actually brought almost this exact same list to a tournament this past Saturday. I managed to somehow get all 50 of my B1s together <laughs> in time. Absolutely unbelievable. I don't know why. I don't know why the heads are two pieces, um, <laughs> but they are. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> it took me so it took me about six hours total. Not like all in one shot. I don't have six hours in one shot, but. Sure. Over the course of the week or so, um, uh, so yeah. Once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. It's not hard. It's just very time consuming. Yes. So um, be prepared for that if you're assembling droids. But anyway, I got them together for Saturday, and I brought basically this list, um, which is Grievous, with the standard build that we've talked about on previous casts: aggressive tactics, strict orders. Um, I went for tenacity in this case, uh, and the the his pistol, the annihilator. Um, six B ones, uh, with E five C's. You can also do a couple of rocket launchers in here if you want. If you put them on the uplink squads, then you get, you know, twice as much value out of your refresh. Sorry, your recover. Um, if you're worried about armor, that's a good way to go. Uh, and those hit pretty hard. It's black, black, red on those rocket launchers. And of course, you can also shoot them at range four, which is nice. Um, B ones, unlike other core units, also usually have a recover action because they don't get suppressed so um so yeah just uh six b1s with e5s and an extra battle droid for the full eight man unit um 
And then you uplinked two of them, correct? Uh, right, two uplinks, which is going to be important uh, throughout the game. And then uh, two Droidicas with link targeting array. Ooh, free aim tokens. Gross. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's such a good upgrade. Droidicas love um, uh, aim tokens. They love orders, and they love surge tokens. Um, so hopefully I'm, I'm going for the, the three-legged stool there on the droid. Cause... Yeah, and for those of you out there that are still sleeping on it and haven't made the decision, um, if you don't want to get like one of the, the new units, if you're still playing Empire Rebels and you want those cards, the cards pack came out on Friday, and so you can just buy one of those, and you could get Link Targeting Array, Aggressive Tactics, a bunch of other stuff in there. So Yep, I'd highly really recommend good. that, that yeah. card pack. And in fact, if you... Um... <laughs> Unfortunately, this particular upgrade link targeting array does not actually come in the core set. It right. comes in the Bark Speeder expansion and in the Droidica expansion. So Kyle's cheating already? Right. He said he was going <laughs> to play with just the core set. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sorry. Like, oh, I'm You're already put cheating. Stuff in the just, just the core set <laughs> release. Thanks. Just the core wow. set release. I got you back, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, but these do also come in that card pack. So, like, even if you bought the core set, but you didn't get, uh, you know, the Droidica expansions, um, which is what happened to me. Um, then you, you can still buy that card pack and just get Link yeah. Targeting Array in there. So you won't find Link Targeting Array on my stuff. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> well, and that's the thing. Uh, FFG always said they were gonna do with X-wing, and so it's really nice that they're actually doing it with Legion, where you don't have to buy all these extra units that you may not use just to get cards. So it's re it's really good. Yeah, and the yeah, card was... pack is what, like ten bucks or something yeah. like that. Yeah, it's like yeah, nothing. So, it's yeah. not that much. And there's at all. there's like sixty cards in it. So, well, they listened to community feedback. You know, that yep. was a that was a thing from X Wing, like Jay was saying. And you know, it's a <clears> brilliant <throat> idea. It's like, why not offer a card pack? Yep. And, um, here here it is, man. So, good yeah, deal. That's awesome. It's a good thing. Yeah. All right, Mike. What do you got running? in? Yeah. So, um, clones are pretty. Um, restricted right now just because of how much their units cost so um we're looking at kenobi we've got force reflexes force push uh aggressive tactics and tenacity um it is i think my opinion and i would like to say our opinion and that's probably the best way to build him right now um i could see a case for guidance but yeah i generally agree you don't yeah. speak for me no, no. Well, you know, <laughs> I don't yeah. have to speak for you. You've got your own podcast. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I am a big proponent of the five of the Z six in the phase ones. I know some people like the uh, the range four critical gun. It's definitely good. Uh, I think it's just a little bit too expensive to pack into a clone list, at least right now. Mm -hmm. um, how I feel about it. So I've went with five Z six units. Um, there's definitely justification for the other gun. It's perfectly serviceable. Um, I have gone with two Bark Speeders with the Twin Laser Gunner. Um, I think that upgrade is the cheapest and also the most efficient. Um, it just, you know, um, the Bark's not good without an upgrade on it. I, I can feel pretty confident in saying that. Uh, 75 points for a red die, a black die, and a white die is um, not great. So uh, I've also tossed HQ uplinks on there. I had an extra 20 points to spare, and those seemed like reasonable upgrades considering um, they help me trigger aggressive tactics, and it also allows me to use my orders on Kenobi and the clones for fire support and things like that. So um, yeah, that's why that's there. That's I love it, man. Yeah. This is my favorite clone build out of the box is this sort of format. Um, having those face-ups on the barks also lets you get the aggressive tactic surges on them, which is super important because they're the only, they're one of the three units in your list that doesn't share surges or yeah. other tokens. And, um, you know, they need they need some way to get the extra token, I think, to keep up with the rest of the army defensively. Otherwise, they I, become a liability. I agree. It's also really easy to take their action because they have the, um, the speeder keyword and they're getting a free move anyways. So, I mean... Don't get me wrong, you want to move, aim, shoot a lot of the time, but like on the first couple turns, move, recover, shoot yeah. is also fun. So, Kyle, uh, you are blue player with how many points? 796. And, Mike, you came in at right at 800? Yeah, man. Clones are expensive. Yep. All right. So, you guys want to get this going? Kyle, you want to you wanna start? Yeah, let's hit, let's hit some cards. Um, right. So, I cut, just real quick, SCIS, uh, I always cut recover. 
and um, Disarray. Because <laughs> um, they're not great at either of those. A Disarray is not terrible, but your deck has end up like in a zone by themselves, and then uh, it's really hard to fit 50 Battle Droids in one Disarray zone. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, right. I usually go for a, a strong bid and cut that one. Condition, you can cut pretty much any of them, and you're fine. Um, so, right. uh, so David, while they're defining the battlefield here, uh, who do you think has a chance today? Uh, man. <laughs> oh, well, this is how this is going to go. Right. Well, I mean, uh, eight activations, so it's automatically garbage. I mean, you can't, yeah. <laughs> you can't, you can't survive with eight. Clearly, in this, I mean, that's BS. Of course, you can survive with eight. Good lord. Um, I mean, obviously, it's just a lot of bodies across the table. I think Obi Wan. Obi Wan can can beat Grievous in a straight up fight, so I really think it's going to come down to um, do the fire supports get the casualties yeah. that they need yeah. to score because these clones there's only twenty five clone troopers versus fifty battle droids, so yeah, started. <laughs> yeah so there's uh, they're going to need to recover. They're, they're already way behind on attrition, like they're out they're out man two to one well, plus and, the droids, and they're playing a world and. In- uh invitee right so you know <laughs> oh my gosh wow yeah that's true uh we will yeah, I mean... we, yeah we will be using the clock today right gentlemen so we're gonna go for the we got three hours set on the clock in tts so once yeah. we deploy we'll we'll be using the clock all right we'll try and play fast um so we have banned clear conditions hostile environment sabotage the moisture vapors and breakthrough leaving us with Key positions, major offensive, minefield. Oh boy, yep. that's going to be a fun game. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pull it so, back here and take a look at the whole map. Go ahead, David. Yeah, so I was going to say that uh, this map, it's a it's Geonosis. It's uh, the center part of the board is a cover a light cover crater with a destroyed Droidica in the middle. I'm going to try to draw this picture, you know, with words for everybody out there who is not currently watching the video please. but if you but please do watch the video if you do have an opportunity to do so um the middle is actually reasonably open there is a large rock formation um on kyle's side of the board that is the droid side of the board that is providing him some decent cover there is a barricade plus a smaller rock formation as well as a crashed uh, droid spider on Mike's side of the board, that's the clone player side of the board, mm-hmm. um, to provide him some cover as he approaches the middle key position. But I think very importantly, the droids have um, secured for themselves, or, or possibly will secure for themselves, a destroyed LAAT. That's the Lat gunship from um, the, the Attack of the Clones movie that was so iconic in that movie. Uh, they have secured a gigantic piece of uh, reasonably. Uh, strong heavy cover that they can actually walk over they'll have to slow down a little bit as they walk over this but this has been um, a very strong uh, position to fight from because it is such a broad piece of of uh, terrain and it is just over range one from the middle so it will be extremely strong um, for the cis forces to uh, attack from potentially um furthermore on the drone or not the drone so the drone the droid side of the board there is a forward command center that they can use on the uh upper left corner so this is away from the deployment zones and there is a uh likewise there is also a rubble mount on the on the right corner and it looks like we have our first kp going down uh in the <laughs> or possibly being positioned somewhere on the board actually the second kp this is I'm the, trying um, really hard guys <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, collision is one. Of, oh, now it's floating in midair. Okay, that that'll work. Perfect. I got you. We we know what you mean. Yeah. Um, I think you. I think you locked it just as I was dropping it. I did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so it's, yeah, it's gonna be an issue with collision. I don't think. So the first key position is actually in a, <laughs> in a very safe location behind the LAAT gunship, hidden yeah. underneath the wing of this crash gunship that is jutting into the sky that uh, I have hidden many a Tauntaun behind in my games during Invader League, much to the frustration of my opponents. It is actually really hard to wound a Tauntaun that has four dodges and heavy cover. It's ex- exceptionally hard to do that. And uh, I think CIS will probably make use of that with their ability to split models with the Droidicas and grant them heavy cover. Um, meanwhile, the 
uh, sorry, the clones have placed their key position on that barricade close to the middle, so the clones do not have to go very far to capture two points here, which is a great thing for the clones, of course. They would like to spend most of this game shooting to make up for their lack of attrition. Um, and, in, and in response, Kyle is placing his first mine. The condition is minefield. He is placing his first mine between the two points to try to punish any aggressive move to capture the middle. So, David, let me ask you this. Yes. Who do you think uh, has the advantage with mines here? Um, in the, I think in this current scenario, I really do think the droids have the advantage because they have the bodies to spare. Mm-hmm. Um, the only time I wouldn't say it is if they gain a double detonation and they end up losing four droids. You know, they can pretend that is still half a squad. But I really think that in terms of just, you know, in terms of just taking losses, the clones are much more seriously injured by losing something to a mine. That is fair, yes. I would agree. Yeah. You just, um, it one out of 25 versus one out of 50. And I mean, I mean what a one, right? This thing has a potentially a, a red dice plus defense surge save it contributes a black attack dice that could also potentially surge there's quite a large contribution made by each of these clone troopers which is why they're 13 points a piece versus the six point battle droids mike giving the thumbs up that everyone can see mike and so mike what's going on what's going through your head right now buddy why don't you tell us um so what's going through my head is i'm screwed <laughs> 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 uh, no, I um, you know, so minefield is actually, uh, I don't think super advantageous to anybody in this matchup. Kyle doesn't kind of care about mines because B ones just, you know, they're made to die. That's what they do. Mm. Um, and clones have the advantage of being able to take like two dodge tokens and share them into the mines. So, um, I think there's. There's a lot of a lot of play to that aspect of this matchup. Um, so, uh, I'm just gonna try and avoid the mines. I've kind of set my cube position very close to the center one so that I can consolidate my forces in one place. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, that's what they do. Yeah, and because uh, I don't really want to be split up, and um, we'll see how that goes. If he gets a really good trained in your Jedi arts off on me. It would probably not be a great day, but we'll see how that goes. So our other mines, uh, there is a mine being placed or has been placed um, off of the corner of this major offensive deployment zone, kind of um, off the sort of nearer to the droids and further from the, or sorry, nearer to the clones and further from the droids here near a rubble mound that is, I believe, attempting to close a potential lane that the clones could advance through to shoot down a uh, shoot down into an open area near the LAAT. Likewise, there is a mine have that has been placed near the LAAT, uh, possibly uh, where the droids would need to go uh, to flank as well. So the mines have been placed in such manner that the flanks are closed, mm-hmm. and there are the other two mines which are closer to the middle. Um, so those are basically the players are trying to use the restrictions to punish what they can, or at least um, limit what can be done by their opponent. Which is sort of the point, but you know, right? Uh, it's, it's just wise to do that because I mean, you can you can totally make mistakes with mines, but I haven't I haven't seen any mistakes just yet. But uh, you know, there's still a lot of game to go, and so we don't know what exactly is going to happen um, as this game progresses. Yes, and our two opponents here have become uh, begun their deployment uh, with Kyle deploying a set of droids bet- behind that ship uh, and spread out as they should be because they're droids and they need to spread their spread out so they could pass order tokens. And it looks like Mike has finished deployment of his first unit with a similar spread scenario. So this is going to be a fun game, fellas. I want you to keep it clean. Uh, <laughs> solid hits, you know, nothing below the belt. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you can count on Grievous to uh to pull any punches or to do anything fair. Right. 
Yeah, he's going to scale some stuff and <laughs> run across it and kill things. <laughs> Pretty much. He's also going to he's also going to cheat and uh, use a use a ranged weapon in melee. Right. Because that's what the that's what the uh, versatile keyword on his pistol allows him to do is to uh, use his pistol in a melee attack or if he wants to while he's engaged he can actually shoot a different target, which is such a cool ability. I mean, that's that's grievous to a T. Uh, you know, using all four of his his robot arms and sometimes even his robot feet to wield his weapons and uh, and shoot enemies with his pistol or perhaps cut them down with his lightsaber. I'm, I'm noticing here that Dash has his first clone unit sort of spread out, and it looks like he's getting ready to thread another one kind of through it. This speaks a little bit to the honeycomb sort of stuff we talked about on the cast, where clones have overlapping uh, bubbles of cohesion that let them share their tokens more easily. Mm -hmm. And this is something that Dash is definitely doing. He's, he's almost performing a mirror kind of image of these two clone squads, the way he's got them deployed. Um, but I think it would be wise for him to stack up a few tokens and then maybe try to engage the mines and set them off and just try to make safe moves, at least in the early part of the game, especially because, um, you know, when you're so far down on attrition, you really don't want to give your opponent anything for free because it just makes your deficit worse. Yeah. I, and I do like in this new set how, um, <clears throat> for various reasons, that seems to be kind of how you want to place uh, both sets of armies, right? Like you want this honeycomb effect for both of them a little bit so that you're, you know, with the with the, the droids, you're passing order tokens. With the clones, you're sharing, you know, you're sharing green tokens. So it's it's really interesting how this new set has set itself apart from the original Civil War set. <clears throat> right. I mean, both of the Civil War armies are so self-contained, except I think for the, um, now the latest, like, Empire stuff is, you know, getting a little bit of that, um, has a bit of flavor of, of what CIS has. I think they, I think they've uh, kind of, you know, hybridized it a little bit. And so they have the, the they have you know, <laughs> some of the tech that CIS has at a certain cost. That is, you have to take shores and mortars. Yeah. Um, but, uh, the, but again, you know, before this wave, it was very self-contained, very self-contained and like units were independent functional or functioning independently. And there was only so much, uh, economizing you could do by passing tokens around. But now ever since like the specialist pack, ever since like coordinated fire started coming out ever since shores and mortars. Um, and I mean, to some extent, Leia was doing this already. Um, the token sharing is starting to, you know, permeate through the, through the, you know, all four factions, all of the games. Yeah. Well, and it'll be interesting to see if, you know, some of that other stuff that Empire, you know, maybe has taken advantage of, such as Entourage or something, maybe that comes in effect in the future for, for one of these uh, armies. And I, I'm just, I mean... It's been a while, you know, we've been waiting for, for the clones and, and droids to show up and they're here and I'm I'm starting to feel that excitement again that was kind of uh dwindling <laughs> while we were <laughs> while, while we were waiting on the delay. So uh, it's good that they're here and we can get them on the table. Yeah, I mean that's always frustrating when you felt like you're being strung along a little bit. And I mean I I can't blame any one person at FFG for that. Yeah, it's a um, systematic breakdown. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to make it to make it sound worse, to make it sound worse than I intended, sure. Yeah. But yeah, I get you. I get you. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Like, are these units too close in blues, or is this gonna? Uh, I can yeah. I can see, but yeah, I, I don't know. If I, I, I think you're good. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, I one is definitely to Kyle, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you got to clearly distinguish your bases, right? Because, you know, otherwise, how would you know which one is to remove? Right. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about that real quick. Sure. For um, This has been slightly a hot topic. Yeah. Let's, dan as... let's dance around another hot topic. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> this is, this I is mean... where we, we cue the hot take intro. <laughs> yeah, and then we continue. yeah where's, that, where's that hot take drop? <laughs> so on TTS, it's easy because you just color the bases. But like for your models, mm -hmm. um, how do you how do you guys where do you guys stand on like squad markings like mini by mini squad markings i i like doing it for my own like i've never done it for anyone else it's always been for my own sake because 
I'll definitely like which when I was playing with stormtroopers, right? It's like I'll definitely pick something up if they're too close. So like I usually just color the outer rim. I I base it whatever I want to base for whatever makes sense for that unit, and then I'll I'll color the rim red or blue or 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 yellow or green or whatever. So I've always enjoyed doing it just for myself. You know, I'm I'm in the same boat with you on that, Jay. Um, I didn't. I initially resisted that because I said, okay, well. I don't want anything to, you know, immersion breaking. So I'm going to go ahead and just put little numerals on my bases. Mm. But it turned out that even the numerals, because they were the same color as my army's um, um, sort of insignia color, even then they became invisible because they just kind of washed out with the rest of the army. And so I, I guess maybe I lucked out because my scheme is kind of a, a light gray and that's pretty adaptable to other colors. And so I just went ahead and just did like a muted, you know, red, blue, green, like muted primary colors and a few of the other secondary colors that are easily recognizable. And that actually makes things so much clearer. Yeah. Um, but, but that again, you know, it, it, it's really, it really depends on what you're going for. And some armies have visuals that are a lot more complicated than say mine, or maybe a lot more complicated than, than maybe a droid army would be yeah. i guess we're kind of lucky that a lot that, that both of these um armies are are all about sort of mass produced soldiers whether they be robotic or cloned people mm -hmm. um so there's we have some advantage in that department as well in terms of what we can do uh creatively to um you know check both of those boxes in both the can i make my squads recognizable and can i um you know distinguish them and can my opponent distinguish them um, so that I make sure the right minis are removed or that my opponent can uh, make the correct decision. Yeah. It just is a sportsmanship thing, right? Yeah. But, you know, and I think you always have that up. I think this is something we've preached on both casts is uh, conversation and talking with your opponent and making your intentions clear and being like, hey, I, I believe that this this mini is part of this unit and I would like to shoot that unit. Uh, you know, and then having your opponent either agree on that or say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's part of that. Or no, that he's not part of that unit, you know, and really coming together with that agreement. So, I mean, as far as like making it be uh, making it forced, um, I, I don't care either way. I, I'm fine with it not being a forced thing as long as you can have a conversation with your opponent and and clarify. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather it be an unwritten rule, ultimately, and I would rather that everyone just, you know, just did it yeah. out of out of the goodness of their heart, <laughs> or maybe out of their need to track their own minis, which, you know, was partially my own problem, because it started to get to the point where it was like, oh, Same. I hope I removed the right minis. <laughs> oh, you mean Han didn't kill that squad if I'd removed the right minis? Right. Oops. Right. <laughs> or something like that, you know? You know what this reminds me of, guys, this battle? You ever, What's see, you ever see that movie 300? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 300 brave Spartans about to face the full might of the Persian yeah. army right here. <laughs> Obi-Wan Obi Leonidas Kenobi. <laughs> this is Genosha. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so this is this beautiful Genosha map, by the way, designed by, I think, Nerfly? Yes, Nerfly created this map. It is, I think, one of his best works in terms of both in terms of balance and aesthetics. I think yep. it was very good. I agree. Like in his entire life? Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he, it, it's been relatively short. We've only been playing Legion for like a year and a half, right? And TTS Legion was around, you know, since what? Since the beta? Of, I mean, there was a there was a beta of the game at some point, and then there was a uh, a three by three board and they had the rule book and they were just like speculating on whatever the heck the rules actually were oh. but no time for that because we got double standing orders here double standing orders well we know what kyle's gonna do yeah so this is this is the battle to lose priority ah. uh, <laughs> which mike actually wins which is great because he has one less activation the clone strike <laughs> yeah i'm not particularly yeah. interested in uh like you know going first actually Oh yeah, no no one should be in this situation. <laughs> um all right. Well all right, so we're gonna do this thing. So now yeah, Kyle, kinda of explain uh for our listening audience what you're about to do. 
You have yeah, one. so I'm not going to be using this panel over here at all. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. So you have one order that you get from standing orders and kind yep. of, you know, we have an article about this on the website too, if you guys want to know yep. more about this, but Kyle's about to walk you through what he's going to do here. All right. So it's important, like with CIS on every turn to think about how you're going to get perfect activation control. So on this turn, I've only got one order, which I'm going to give to Grievous. Um, I have two uplinks which hopefully I put in the right locations. Uh, <laughs> let me see, two and three. Um, yep, okay. So two is uh, right hey, Mike, here. You want to start the clock? Three is right here. Yes, yep. I can. Thank you. All right, Jay so we're going to... Make sure we don't go over tonight. Yep. <laughs> well, we don't want this to be like four hours long. So it's I'm going to trip the... It's a long podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. So sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trip the uplink on number three, which is this one here. Um, so they'll get an order. They're going to pass an order. Okay. This so dude if, over here. If you think about major offensive, everybody out there who's listening, orange. he put, uh, he kind of, the droids kind of almost create the outline of the front line of the major offensive. And so for the top uh, of the, the, the highest point, he has two droids there. And that's where his HQ uplink started. Yeah. So his army kind of deployed looking like a shoe. Mm -hmm. And the uh, it's more uh, more of a steel toed boot because the droidicas are the tip of this steel toed boot. Ooh, I like and, that. Uh, nice. Grievous is on Grievous is on the ankle. He's like the he's like the shoelaces <laughs> of the steel toed Cause he, boot because he keeps your army together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Boom. Um. All right. So I'm gonna um. So this essentially ends up with just the droidicas being in a bag by themselves. Yep. <laughs> I'll stack and shuffle this, but so I know getting it's in there. zero value out of LTA um, turn one. Awesome. Yeah, which is which is fine because they're pretty unlikely to shoot anything on this turn. You're not supposed to say barks. it's fine. I'm supposed to heckle you, <laughs> unless the barks get crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're pretty unlikely to shoot anything this turn, so that's fine. Okay. Um, and then where does your order go on there? Yeah, Mr. Barry? so um, I am going to give it to General Kenobi. I'm Good also move. going to trip. Both uplinks on my on turn one. Meters. What are you crazy? On turn one, <laughs> crazy. Uh, I can am. I remind you of Pax Unplugged last year, where you told me that was insane <laughs> when I did that with my air speeders? Well, I'd like to say that uh, that was a little different. You could have given them that turn. You just decided not to and use the uplinks. I mean, I mean just well, to be completely right. clear. You I mean, assault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah to, to be fair, Jay, you lost when you took an air speeder to Pax Unplugged. Yeah, that's true. I like how no one laughed. <laughs> that's how bad it actually was. It was back um, then. Now it might be okay. We'll see. Yeah, now it might be fine. <laughs> so I'm also going to use aggressive tactic to give search tokens to all of my face supporters. There you, there you go. There you um, go. Get him on the train. Yep. And uh, Kyle, think, uh, think you're up. Walk Don't, into that I am. fire zone. Okay, yeah. quick quick reminder, whatever you do, don't delete these tokens with the range band open. Yep. I don't know if they fixed that bug yet. <laughs> the last thing we want is a looping error that goes a thousand times before it stops. Yeah, that is exactly the last thing I want. You're right. Yep. All right, well, here go here go the droids. Uh, no, you know what? I'm the, sorry. I'm going to dodge first. Uh, dodge. The, the, the Twit Olympics has begun. Yeah. Don't yep. act like your B1s matter. Dude. <laughs> Okay, right. so that's so there's there's an important thing about CIS. There's there's two things that are true about B ones. They don't matter, and they matter. <laughs> yeah, they, they like simultaneously matter and don't matter. It's like right, Schrodinger's like, cat. Right, like you you got to care about them because they actually are decent units, especially when they have surge tokens. Um, and uh, but at the same time, like they're really good at dying, so like you can't get too upset when that happens. Um, but can I get range bands on those two? What are you on these two squads? Yeah, actually, I'll just use the thing. I'll just use the thing about it. I mean, I can. I can't, can. you can't let your jimmies get rustled when you lose battle droids. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let me uh, let me ask you this. To let me ask Mike. Mike, a year ago, when you guys first started the podcast, did you think this is where we'd be one year later? Uh, honestly, no. The the short answer to that is uh, is uh, no. 
<laughs> One more time. I don't. I don't think we heard yeah. you. <laughs> no, no. Um, you know, this was this was something fun that that we started. You know, uh, when I originally talked to Kyle about it, it was kind of like, uh, oh, that'd be cool, ha 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 ha, you know, type of thing. And uh, here we are. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember when Kyle. Uh, it all started because Kyle had, was on my podcast, and uh, he had asked me. Basically, hey, if I wanted to run a podcast, what you have any recommendations for me? And I was like, yes, I do. Boom! Oh, the all right. blows up. You got That's a, perfect. Got to you roll that attack mind? there, Mr. Barry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me uh, see what That's we got. That's exactly what he wants. I actually, minefield is one of those objectives I don't play as often as the other. One. Double crit. Ah, uh, not quite. <laughs> all right, so we'll spend the dodge for one crit hit. Yeah on that mine for those listening Come on. okay now now the droids have a one in three here because they have a surge token they could spend on defense to save this yep. to save this uh, critical so let's see what they do here they will save <laughs> it on a six <laughs> meaning that they don't I actually kind of wanted that guy to die <laughs> <laughs> that's sort of unbelievable i'm gonna be honest. <laughs> uh that's, that's supremely lucky i'll say that much yeah yep. right. love it and the first uh, mine right. goes I'm going to pull out of the stack. Um, I'm going to activate this unit here. This activation is going to be real simple, guys. He's going to dodge an amp. He's, uh He activated one of his regular troops, a core troop, and they dodged an aim. Yep. So he's so this storing, is... storing actions, right? Yep. yep. So, David, uh, a yes. year of the podcast, what's been your favorite part of being on the podcast so far? Oh, man. Like, uh, honestly, like... There's, I, I can think of two things. I'll just give this in a two-part. One is the fact that I get to come hang out every week and talk to the three of you about this game that we all love and enjoy. And the other fact is that I get to kind of be on a team and represent a team at major events. So I'm, I'm big into representing scoundrels like at events and you know, you know, sort of promoting what you know our show and and just being like you know a a, a face you know, for that. Mm. And, uh, you know, just trying to make, trying to make the, the, the brand grow, you know, I'm really, I'm really digging that. <laughs> so, and I love, I love the shirts that you made for us that have our, our, uh, call signs on the back. Yeah. Like that's real, that's really cool. And I still, I wear those shirts. Like every, I don't even just wear those shirts to events. I wear those shirts just like, no, nope, yep, nope. that's difficult. Balls. Indeed it is. So, you know, yeah. Kyle just tried to cheat by placing one of his <laughs> droids Clearly. in the difficult terrain. <laughs> and he screwed up his whole move here, but he's already got he's already committed. So what are you gonna do, buddy? Yep. 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 I know what we're All gonna right. do. Take away that world's invite. That was <laughs> uh, all right. Well that didn't work. One less it's a good thing you can share that dodge to token, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Hey, maybe yeah. <laughs> Where's my E5? Okay. Well, E5. so we're in we're in round one and we've already seen a wasted activation. <laughs> hey, it's not wasted, I'm moving up, repositioning. Uh -huh. It didn't take long. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Yeah. I mean if you, if you take a dodge to trigger a mine, but you can't legally cohere to trigger it. Dude. Like, I don't think you can spin that. <laughs> Don't try to spin that. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> uh, I, I okay. see. You see, your mistake was not bringing phase twos with Overwatch. Yeah. Oh wait, those aren't in the core box. <laughs> uh, All right. So Mike's up, and ooh, bold move. We're gonna. Looks like we're activating uh, General, General Kenobi. Kenobi. It's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> I don't think it's that bold. Hello there. No, it's not. Let's see if it pays uh, off. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it is a move. <laughs> oh, and he turned once, him. As I once famously said to Daniel Lupo, that, that's a move. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing it. Um, so he's gonna move. I'm gonna tap for reflexes to take a second dodge. Oh, uh, I'm gonna move, dodge, and then tap force reflexes to take a second dodge token. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, I think I, I got you. I think I see some uh, some Suresu mastery at work here potentially. Yeah. yeah, and then we are gonna master the fourth one reflex back at the end of the turn. At yeah, the... so Obi Wan is really good with the force reflexes. <clears throat> dodge stack like crazy, 
-hmm. and spend those dodges when he guardians hits and uh, the cool thing about that is that that dodge actually works for the guardian so if a clone is going to take a mine hit here he will just yank the hit onto obi-wan spend the dodge for sarasu and then no nothing happens yep. basically. yeah basically it's it's actually it's probably the most interesting thing about obi-wan i think because it actually incentivizes you to go early with your high-powered force unit because you want to get the dodge tokens on him um even in the turns where he's not engaging anything Right yeah, on. he's he's a little bit of an odd duck. He kind of breaks the breaks the rhythm of the normal like sort of I'm gonna last with my force user and then first with like Son of Skywalker or Implacable or something like that. He breaks yeah. that up a little bit. He's he's very like a a proactive control piece, which is a little weird. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just double moving. So Kyle's up moving move some droids. He hopped the barricade with a half move, and now he's full move as well. He's half moving again almost here. And doing some uh, cohesion. Look at you. Moving yep. the droids. I, I love when when you try to put things on, on services and they just tumble down. Yep. Or they like interact oddly with the collision on TTS and they kind of just like do backflips or somersaults. Yeah. It's also really funny when you accidentally unlock a terrain piece with a unit on it and everything goes flying. Yeah, yeah don't do don't do that, especially yeah. when you're playing a game that really matters. Like, don't do that because that's just a recipe for hell. Oh, here goes the clones. Okay, they're launching their way in. They're wading into the minefield. Let's He's see there. if they set this off. Okay. He's got th three dodges to work with here, though. Yeah. Yeah, plenty to work with. They are some crits yeah we're hoping that that search to crit happens if you're uh the cis rooting for the cis player <clears throat> what what i'm more concerned about right here is mine not going <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be ideal just roll a blank there yeah that's yeah, true gosh not about that later. i uh yeah. i'm gonna wait and pick a side till i see who's winning and then i'll <laughs> pick that side all right <clears throat> all right uh so they're gonna move um we'll roll the true in the mine all right here we go there you go there it is sweet and it goes beauty. off kyle's gonna roll damage let's see what happens <laughs> that's a beauty there oh, <laughs> perfection uh, just one sweet. um i'm gonna real use the dodge token up. yep yes dodge that um they will get a suppression token <laughs> And that was from his uh, other unit that took the aim dodge. All right, let's turn this yeah. range bubble off before we delete this. That was a that was a shared uh, dodge token from the first clone unit that activated. So there, there's a clones clones at work for you. All right. They are and they hardly ever lose actions. And that squad is their second action is going to take an aim. Perfect. An aim. Interesting. That is awesome. Yeah. I love the way clones play. In fact, watching this game is, is inspiring me to actually start building them again because I've kind of I kind of took a pause because I was trying to get my tauntauns in order, but now I'm thinking about um, just going back and just finishing up what I've built. <laughs> Plus, uh, my local is starting a 500 point league actually, so it's like a learn and grow kind of. Oh yeah, that's you, nice. you could play any faction, but I think if I think if you're new to the game, learn and grow league is really helpful. So if you're lucky enough to have a store nearby. Ask if there is one, or if there isn't one, start one yourself. They're actually dead simple to run, I think. You just make a spreadsheet. The players schedule their own games on their own time. And um, it really kind of kind of manages itself. Sometimes you have to get after people who haven't played their games. But it's, it, it's a, I think it's a good idea. If you can get involved in one, do so. And it also gives you a goal. So it's like, oh, I have to paint my, my next droid unit for the next game I'm playing. You know, you, you can sort of set up your own kind of system where you are um system you're, you're systematically going about painting your your units for events rather than just letting it um you know hang out because uh, you know that adage work expands to fill the time available i think that applies here yep. hobby expands to fill the time available <laughs> so kyle moved up a droid unit and put a standby down It's an interesting play. I think he's sort of just waiting to see if anything comes towards him. Standby is range two here. I don't foresee anything really entering range two, but he does not want to feed the Z6 troopers any shots. So he is uh, refusing to move up any further than that because he kind of figures, based on the range measurements, <laughs> that nothing will be able to get in there. 
Ooh, just outside. Ugh. It grown. Just did outside. It so, grown from the CIS player. Yeah. <laughs> or from the Dodge player. So uh, Mike was looking for a shot on the droid uh, that didn't get hit by the mine earlier, and he was just outside the range. Yep. You know, could not hit that attack on the uh, one of these tan colored B1 squads. <coughs> um, so, this is like a great move and dodge. This whole first turn is kind of a great um, example of like positioning and playing a first turn generally. Um, you don't want to give your opponent free shots. Like, generally, what happens a lot of times um, is you know, like if you're a little too reckless, you move a unit up into range which i'm potentially about to do <laughs> um, and uh you know and then that one unit just takes a bunch of sh like unnecessary shots um uh, this is the uplink unit so i'm gonna dodge um yeah i think i think every game can be different but most games I found, and I'm sure you guys will disagree with me, but most games is uh, like this weird mix between being conservative and then being aggressive. And it's like setting up, conservatively setting up fire lanes or whatever whatever your army's uh, position is going to be for that match and setting that up the first couple of rounds and then, you know, uh, and then acting on that for the next few. So it's like this weird mix between being really conservative and then being really aggressive. Yeah. And generally like personally, I play the first turn pretty conservative. Um, this is a situation where I'm putting a unit, not only in range of the mine, but also potentially in range to get shot by this guy. Mm. Um, so we'll but, see I mean, it's a sacrifice you're willing to make though, right? Oh, oh. it's a double detonation. Oh, <laughs> oh, Love boy. it. Here we go. Love it. All right. Love it. <laughs> roll first off. One. Come on, roll it. So he rolls the surge, and the mine goes off twice, and he gets a crit on the first one. All right, so I can't spend the dodge on that. So luckily, the red blanking there. And a blank. All right. Yeah, so uh, the droid goes down. All right, so that's... And now I'm no longer in range of that. Hang on. What's up? I'm not in range anymore of the mine. I pulled the one guy that was in range. Oh, wise. Look at that. That is a clinic right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Sorry. It protects you um, against the double detonate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I was not really in a position. So for those of you uh, listening, what had just happened was Kyle cohesed in a way where only one mini was within range of the mine. And so when it went to detonate the second time, there was nothing to uh, attack because there was nothing in range. So now a bark, the barks. a bark speeder is activating here. Now barks are interesting. They say they have speed three in their card, but when you equip the sidecar that is any of their um, upgrades that have like the twin laser gunner or perhaps the rocket sidecar upgrade, it forces them to slow down to speed two, which in a lot of ways is actually quite advantageous for them. Um, speeder bikes, at least in the early stages of the Civil War era of the game, um, they had this issue where they were so fast they would end up over committing without trying. So it was at the point where you really couldn't make any sort of voluntary move with them because you'd end up in your opponent's face really quick and you do, you would just lose them because the entire enemy army would, would be in range of you and just, you know, primary you and get, get you off the board instantly. So barks have this other advantage. Not only do they have red defense dice, which is great, um, but they have the, they have the speed two compulsory move instead of the speed three compulsory move. So they are definitely um, advantaged in that department. They are also only a single miniature, so they don't lose strength until they take three wounds. Um, and even so, even if they do take three wounds, there's a chance that they're going to take a vehicle damage token that is um, they're probably not even going to care about because they have the compulsory move. So like um, two out of the... You know, it's like a whole third of the results on the vehicle damage dice don't even really apply to them because they don't really care about not being able to to voluntarily move at the cost of two actions because they're already doing the compulsory move. So they have a lot of advantages over speeder bikes in terms of just like this class of vehicle. 
they're probably one of the best and they're probably one of the best in class even if they're a little bit expensive for what they do but all clone units are expensive mm -hmm. because that's the faction yeah and it, yeah and i mean that's always that was always uh playing speeder bikes early on and i say early on while i'm actually looking at a speeder bike list right now but uh speeder bikes early on that was always the difficult part right is like sometimes you don't you really didn't need that speed three compulsory it was really tough sometimes and so you really had to watch what you were doing uh, in order to make that work um so, so it, i've dodged and recovered on both of the parts yeah so essentially what mike's doing is stalling um yes <laughs> <laughs> so he's Playing he's forcing positions. yeah he's forcing me to move um up you know he hasn't activated either of these two units yet which are in a position potentially to shoot something um or this one actually no that one dodged and aimed yep so do you just have these two left is that I it i do i only have those two guys left all right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull my decas from one of my decas from my bag. Yep. Um, let's see if this does a thing. I don't think that this is necessarily wise, even if this puts me in range. Oh, nice. Catching just the edge of three there on the teal clone unit, uh, the one that did end up taking a suppression from a mine hit earlier. However, there might be a question of what the decas can actually see. They yeah, might I mean, I'll be able to see one unit there. Yeah, it's possible they can only see one dude. Mm. Now, That's still three. Nope. So, Kyle, also, like, what is what if like talk talk through kind of the decision between going standard versus wheel, and and when you think like wheel is an opportunity versus just standard moving. Um. So I use wheel mode when um. I'm trying to get into a position um, to flank something. Decas are actually really good at flanking because of how surprisingly fast they are. Mm. Um, and I guess I should have used link targeting right this turn. Um, so heavy cover, obviously, there. Um, sure. I usually try and flank with them. Ooh, all right, so four down to two. Okay, um, I will spend uh, one dodge token on the light clone unit next to them, and I will spend one dodge token on... Yep, on two suppression. Yep. Okay, so just to review what happened there, there was a, a dodge token that was uh, shared onto this clone unit, and then there was a Sorosu guardian move from Obi-Wan that took care of the other hit that was remaining. And so the net effect of the attack was just two suppression and no casualties, which is pretty much what the clones would like to see. They'd like to see none of their units dying. Of course... Unfortunately, core box, core box clones do have issues managing suppression because they don't have a unit like uh, Leia or uh, Veers out of the box that can help them manage like that. Mm. So suppression does hurt them in the long run because they have a very hard time removing it unless they score a pretty sizable rally roll. Now, this is a clone trooper unit, difficult moving across a rock pillar and finding a clone or finding a droid unit at range three in heavy cover yep. that they could take shots at if they so desired. And there oh, are oh, actually we, we, we desire. <laughs> you, you <laughs> desire. The narrowest of margins. Yeah, he, he oh, no. just caught that base there. Yep. And he's got two aim tokens to back up this attack, which is excellent. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. So that is a that is a significant mistake on my part right there. Allowing him to catch a, a droid unit on turn one like that. Yep. So I'm pretty sure everybody can see because there's a droid kind of like hanging out in the wind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, that's you got to put that guy in cohesion. But yeah, you're oh, good. Other yeah. than that. Uh, that's good. I a model earlier. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're too close in color. <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, yeah. See, there. Well, there you go. Yep. Um, okay, cool. Uh, Even so... the infamous scoundrels make mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. Right, <laughs> we are pretty um, cool. notorious for that. So we have uh, four black, six white. Um, I don't believe we have access to any surge tokens presently because the surge is on Obi Wan. So we've got two aim tokens into heavy cover. Okay, here we go. Let's see it in a whopper roll. Two crits, three hits so far. Very good yeah. roll. Um, all right, uh, we'll spend aim token number one. Yep. yep. 
Aim converts another hit for four after cover. Uh, and we will spend aim token number two. He's just going to keep going for it on the white dice. So these are two out of eight to convert. It converts another uh, hit. Another one. Five hits wow. coming through. That's a big, big move. All right. I'm going to spend that dodge. Kano. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so we're going to spend that dodge. So that brings it down to four. Yeah. They do have a surge in case and, that ends up mattering. And they ended up losing a unit already, and the surge matters. Two yep, surge, so I'll spend two my blank. surge token. So three guys die. So three, three casualties. Brutal. Well, three down, 40 to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clones doing clones and droids doing droids. That's, that's yep. what that was. And just out of range of pink, I suspect. I'm measuring to see if pink could get a counter attack there on the blue clones that just moved and shot, but it looks like they may just be out of range and that I think the range bands there do confirm it that they are going to be beyond range three for a return shot. Yep. In this round. Yep. Not ideal. Deep sigh from the CIS player. <laughs> well, not only am I on stream and taking shots for free, I'm also getting heckled by Jay Shalane. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, at that point, you're sort of like, what am I doing with my life? Yeah, welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. Move and dodge. Sure. You could do that. You could. That's a good. It's a move. I, I did do that. That's a that's an idea. Um. Mm. So you just had the last right left, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna pull my last core unit. Yep. All right. Okay. Guys, what is this careful, considered gun line play? Don't you know that we've moved on to Tauntaun? <laughs> don't you, don't you know that we're trying to like run an entertainment here? <laughs> I don't know why these guys are moving, but they're moving. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll just hold. I'll just hold them, and you do your move template thing. Clipping that there move template, sir. Yeah, I will uh, say so. TTS is one of the best and most aggravating things that's out for Legion. So yeah, I feel like the collision uh, lately has been a little bit. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys have felt that either, but um, that's just been my experience. Well, we didn't hear what you said. The collision. Oh, the collision's been what? It's been weird. Um, oh. Uh, yes. But, I mean, listen, it's a free tool, and there's lots of changes going on, and we're yeah, just no, no, no. We're I'm not, lucky I'm to not. have it. And I can't believe you're complaining about it. You know, it's kind of <laughs> messed up. <laughs> um, all right, so... You should just focus on killing them droids. I, I am. Right? We'll, we'll yeah. the, that's the plan. All right, go away. Stop complaining about collision. Um, so I think we can see the whole squad. They're still in heavy. Um, yep. Uh, we do not have aim tokens this time. That same oh, squad yeah. again. Here we go. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe get Kinda... one or two hits in. Oh, just one hit. Sometimes after the cover. You wish you had those surge tokens, you know. Yeah, you yeah. really do. Three surges there being unconverted, but it still scores a kill. Yep. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Lost, losing five droids on turn one. That's not good. It's yeah, not good that's, at all. A, that's a bit of an ouch right there. Five It'll out of fifty. will be fine. So a whole a whole tenth of the droids have been killed. Everything right. will right. be fine. I think they did get the horde feel of droids just right. Yeah. Oh yeah, no question. Yeah. It's a little bit awkward where your uh, droid deck has ended up. <laughs> Just yeah, like they can't move through each other. <laughs> I know. Well, I usually set them up like that, which is fine because you just go with the front one. Um, yeah. Right. But yeah, it's not ideal. I was hoping to like get them over here and then get some flanking shots, but you, uh, of course, countered with your barks. So you know. Uh, I, uh, I think it's very important in these lists. It's like very easy to be on the. I'm gonna rush in there with the barks and like do some damage plan, yeah. and that's really not what you want to use. Or you wanna, they want to be kind of controlling where your opponent's going, and you want to control like fire lane with them. Um, yep. I almost wondered too. Do you think that could apply to the the T47 as well? Like I feel like uh, that you can get a little too aggressive with sometimes, and maybe maybe that's another way to play it. To some degree, yeah. But when you're spending like a hundred stuff 
Yeah, think of it. Think of it this way, Jay. Um, for a hundred and five points, you can actually get more offensive output from your Droidica for less risk than you can for a hundred and forty point airspeeder. Sure, I, I get it. Listen, man. It, um, yeah. But if you're playing Rebels, you you can't play Droidicas, can you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I guess I guess if you're if you're viewing like Ooh. who who does it best? Oh, nice. Okay, so. Uh, the droid player is playing nothing particularly special with the push, but that is going to put uh, probably put the um, aims on his uh, droidicas with LTA, link targeting array that is. And uh, the clones look like they have one priority here, and Kenobi has played Knowledge and Defense, which is a two-pip card. Hey, David, for the rest of the uh, match, I'd like us not to say their names anymore. Just call them the, the CIS player and the clone player. <laughs> okay, we can do that. Yeah, we can totally, yeah. we can totally make them into, just... into uh, nameless, faceless automatons, uh, <laughs> yeah. pitted against each other for the enjoyment of the audience. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right, all right. I see what's happening here. Bread to kill. <laughs> so Obi Wan gains a dodge token for each other friendly trooper unit at range one. So there's a lot of those. He's gonna get like a pile of five dodges. Yep. I'm just gonna leave these over here for now. Um... And then a little less significant, he can use Guardian during a melee attack. Well, I don't think any melees are going to be starting anytime soon here. But the pile of dodges will do well enough to protect the clones from taking damage yep. on their own. Because every single one of those dodges equals a use of Sorosu from Obi-Wan. Yeah, and the uh, the CIS player here showing off again that perfect activation control that is... Just one in a million with droids. It's it's really something, especially if you can pull it off. And I think we've said this before, but like uh, it's it's not as easy as it seems in your head when you're like on the table. But if you can really think ahead and make that planned out and do that well, it's man, it's something else when it when it goes off. I'm yeah. still about to get my head taken off here. So um, <laughs> Revis is in in the bag by himself. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, I moved this guy up a little bit just he was in range three last time and then he slid a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. He wasn't in range three. Yeah. Sure, so. so also noteworthy is that there are now two clone trooper units with face up org tokens, which means we might have a fire support incoming at some point here. Yeah, possibly I mean, right now. <laughs> possibly, possibly this very instant. So I sort of feel like fire supporting a um, unit that only has three models left in it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, bit, it's, a bit heavy. it's a bit heavy handed to be certain. But, um, but I mean, clones, you know, clones are like Marines, right? When you absolutely positively destroyed, I have search tokens. <laughs> call yeah. them in. But if, but if we role play it, you can just, you want to get rid of them dirty clankers, right? That's what you want to yeah. do right now. So, yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to uh, wield your best uh, New Zealand accent <laughs> and say, take that, clankers. So, I am declining an aim to. Okay. So using those HQ uplinks again on the barks. Yep. This is um, just a good old fashioned attack. This is just a good old fashioned attack. All right. And it That's... is a pretty good one. Um, yeah. I am going to spend both surge tokens on those clone units right there. Nice. Right, so five down to three. Yep, which is just yeah. the right number. So that has a good chance of killing that unit entirely if no saves are made. And that is the hope here. Oh, oh. Uh, and I got a surge token, which I oh, was Oh no, that's so pretty good. Two saves with the surge. Uh, they'll get a third suppression. So what was yeah. that about not fire supporting into a unit with three models? Left? <laughs> well, so here's the thing, right? Um, I could have fire supported there, um, but I'm really not in the mood to like leave my clones out to. Uh, oh, oh to yeah. Presently. Oh yeah. Yeah, I probably yeah. would have killed this unit if you did that. Yep. Yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna fault you for actually doing that. I um, am just <laughs> okay, except for Jay. We wanted to see something cool, man. Like you know, fire supports yeah. the best keyword. Yeah, I mean, make I mean, the cool plays, not the best plays. Right. <laughs> we're, we're we're running a, an entertainment network here, man. Not a not right. a not a safe network. Right. We want we want you to hit the be... home run, hit more home runs, damn it! Yeah. Don't play good baseball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not playing money ball here. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> uh, plain spaghetti. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. It's a bowl of plain spaghetti. Plain spaghetti. <laughs> typical. Your typical money ball podcast. Do you mind having the range bubble on those boys? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So the CIS check in range to see if they are going to get a shot. Um, things look promising. Uh, the yeah, eight ball says signs point to yes. <laughs> I think you're getting an open shot too. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose so too, our yeah. I'm gonna lose our younger listeners by making all these uh you know eight ball <laughs> references and things like that. It'll be fine. Showing showing my age. How 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 are we gonna appeal to the millennial generation of tabletop gamers? Um, and, and Jen, we're not. Jen, we're not. <laughs> we're just not. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, screw those guys. <laughs> we're, just, we're just not. We're just not. Yeah, it's not even our fault. We just can't. We're just not oh, cool, cool enough. Yeah. yeah, I guess not. The question is, can I then get four dudes over here? Uh, I think the answer is maybe. Uh, Kyle trying to squeeze some. Oh, I'm sorry. The CIS player trying to squeeze. Some... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his uh, his uh, CIS, his droids vaguely reminiscent of Pepto Bismol. Yep. <laughs> dancing around because they're about to give the clones a stomach ache we'll see you can, you can do it come on yeah we'll see i believe in you like i've never oh, believed wow. in you before yeah, yeah that's an open shot yeah. all right uh, is it though yeah yeah it'd be uh, three. One, two, three. Oh, i see oh yeah. darn yeah, this guy's about, not because of the barricade. Yeah, I but, thought about it. Okay. All right, yep. David, you're fired. Get, yeah, get off. Good. Get off the cast. Uh, okay. Bye. Uh, and here it disconnect. comes. Disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. What do we got? Hey, uh, I'll that's spend that surge. That's solid. And here's the value train. There is six shots coming in on those clones. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna get a little green here. I'm, I'm actually gonna guardian three. Uh, nice. Okay. All right. Wow. Time for, so, time so for this is this is Obi Wan. Yeah. Strike uh, Guardians threes two. uses one of his dodges down to two. Yep. Deflects him back and takes All no right. wound on Obi. <laughs> so perfect, oh, a perfect man. source of, from Obi Wan. <laughs> uh, so three on the clones. Yep. And now will the clones eat it? They'll eat one. All that for one wound. Yep, all that for one wound. So that's End the defensive. That's the beauty of the clones. An open shot with six hits being dropped to one wound. And the droids actually taking a wound in response from Obi-Wan Sorosu Mastery. So I totally picked up my E5C because I can't tell the difference. <laughs> well, you should put it back then. Yeah, yeah. You, you should. Uh, I don't, don't want to win that way. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. I'm like, where's my, where's my dude that looks the well, same no, as all I the mean, other that's, dudes? That's that a has good the sign. You already broke his brow. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled the wrong mini. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull out of the stack. Okay. Oh, ooh, it's Commander Kenobi. In General that's Kenobi. That do. is interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little bit of an early pull. Yeah, you wanted a core unit, I think. I did want a core unit. Yeah, yeah definitely. Correct. No room for improvised orders. We've got to take aggressive tactics. Yeah, I think it's okay. Um, so what I'm going to do here is dodge token Yep. to bring it up to five again. I'm then going to tap force reflexes for another dodge token, bring it up to six. Yeah, six Whoa. dodges. <laughs> And yep. then Kenobi is going to take a standby. Nice. Is nice. Last All time. right. Um, all right. Both our all players right, go playing very conservative today, David. Yeah, they are. I mean, but I mean, this is this is kind of how the two armies are battling each other at this current juncture. Yeah. Although I think in I think in the next couple rounds we're gonna see the barks come into play and maybe see some real real hot stuff out of the barks. But um, again, when your clones are really gonna swing into action once they can get the activation counts evened up a little more, then they can start taking a few more risks. Um, fire support is always a risk because you're spending two activations. Um, the it, you you have to it has to do something yeah. right. It has to kill an unactivated unit. Or at least seriously injure it 
um, to really gonna, cause a, a tempo shift. I'm gonna just attack his first action, no yeah. aim or anything. With the uh, droid echoes, yep. Yep. Those are probably going to attack and move, if I had to guess. I do have a surge. And that is a great attack from those decas. Nice. Go. Six. So with the surge, it's full marks. Surge and <clears> aim. <throat> okay, so we're in heavy. Um, so that brings it down to four. Yep. Yep. Um. Well, Guardian's going well so far, so we're gonna Guardian three. <laughs> <laughs> a, little bit of a little bit of gambler's fallacy. Yeah. Isn't man. this like exactly how you said you're not supposed to use knowledge and defense? I'm yeah, like, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's 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 a dangerous drug. Another deflection. Uh, uh, wound on Obi Wan. <laughs> It's okay. So you've it, you've it, en you've enabled my tenacity card. There you go. So you I'll actually be taking can't a wound use the... and then serving up a wound. You can't actually use shields on deflection. Is that a thing? No, it's it's not a it's not oh, it's a not, it's save. Not a... It's just a it's just oh a wound. yeah. It's just so an effect. I believe I have it. one more save to make on clones, right? You do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Let's see if they get paint. Oh, wish I had a surge token. Ouch. Right. A surge That's tokens. Okay. Yep, and two more suppression. Uh, right, I only put one down. So a wound on Obi-Wan and a clone trooper destroyed again. So two clone troopers for one droid unit is still a decent trade, if that is indeed the end result of this round. Yep. Um... um you know, question, did Grievous activate last round? He did. Yeah, he did. He yeah. did like nothing, uh, he just, basically. He just did nothing. Okay, he stood yep. still. He just yep. cowered behind that ship. All right, back okay. to you, sir. Yep. They realized he hadn't left his original position. Um, <laughs> he just, he moved, he did like a short move. Yeah. He like danced around. So. He, he did the Macarena. Kyle, <laughs> let, mm -hmm. me, let me ask you a question, buddy. Yep. Where do you think you're going to be next year? What what do you what do you foresee for you and and the podcast and everything else next year? Uh, well, I don't know. That's a good question. I hope to be doing something similar. I mean, you know, it's I get to hang out with you guys every week and talk about Legion and go to the occasional tournament and uh, and play some fun games. So as long as I can keep that rolling, uh, I'm gonna be happy. Uh, I'm gonna go with the gentleman. Okay. I can tell you, you the only way that's gonna happen war? is if yeah. you win this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fired if I Very look at that. Nice. Three. Wow. Three rolled off. Savage. Removes three of four suppression on the clones. That is. That's the, the kind of rally you need to stay in the game. The suppressive with, uh, weapon game not working out. No. I'm gonna yeah. take a, their action is going to be taking a dodge show again. Cause it, yeah, you got you to gotta keep turtling. Basically, the clones are the clones are bunched up in a ball. They're turtling as hard as possible with Obi Wan yep. dishing out Sorisu and trying to get even on the activation game. Well, you have to, right? right? Kind of <laughs> yeah, you, you can't. With... Yeah, you can't aggress because you just die. Yep. I'm gonna go with my two man unit. Um, yep. I'm gonna try and roll these off instead of strict because I still get two actions here, and um, yep. I might as well see if I can roll more than one off. That's fair. Sure. Nope. <laughs> well done. Well, I still get two actions. Um, that's, that's a negatory. So my first one is just going to be to take a pot shot at these guys. Yep. Um, so I don't think the guy in the back can see anything. Really? Yeah. I think so. Really? Yeah, come come look. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess so. I guess they just can't see him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um all right. all right and so three blacks and a white yep they do have a they sh no they spent their surge on defense mm -hmm. there we go uh, um just bounces off heavy cover yep yep not bad suppression gonna... is suppression's good yep yeah they're gonna flee away hopefully out of range of anything that could snipe them so they will not get them Yep, just run away until such time as they might be required to capture an objective later on. Right. All right, sir, back to you. All right, uh, I'm going to go with the... And, uh, I hate being down activations. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to clones, at least for the time being. <laughs> so, I guess... I'm gonna I'm gonna activate the unit. That's gonna... Yep. Until we I... get uh, 
Measured, and I am not in fire support range. Until we get Rex on R2-D2, this is probably going to be how clone troopers play. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Like, I think so, I've got them out of cover. Yeah, because yeah, I didn't, I couldn't get this guy oh, for yeah. cover. That's five out of Plus. eight there. Five out of eight. Yep. I oh, agree. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So this is your, this is your one action. Yes, and these guys are down a. D so it's down by. Yeah. Yep. Um, cool. Uh, no aims, no surges. Yep. Pew pew pew. Uh, right, not two. great. Just two. That's more than zero. Ah, with the save. Very nice. It happens sometimes. Yeah, 50-50. Right, well, this guy, is, this guy is fired because he's messing up their cover situation. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, David, you've been streaming yes. a lot of the Invader League games. I have, have been. Have you seen uh, the new tanks in action? And how yes. Have, how have they been? Um, I streamed one game with an AAAT. Unfortunately, it was not a good game for the, the CIS player. Um, it was one of LJ's games. Do you mind hitting the range band again? Yeah. And unfortunately, he faced a, a counter, sort of a counter pick because of the event format from mm -hmm. the way Invader League is structured. He faced a counter pick. Uh, he ran into four Ion Snowtroopers. Oh, cool. man. Yeah, because um, ions are actually really quite good against droids. Um, they deny uh, they deny actions, and in fact, they can even deny entire activations if a unit gets two ion tokens on it. Um, and so, with four ion snowtroopers, that was actually rather easy to do. Um, but of course, you know, in, in a tournament that is like a normal tournament, not Invader League, you would be very hard pressed to actually, right? You know, connect with that with that attack. Um, but the tank was really, really solid until it had to be the breakthrough unit. And then it, it had to break through when it was down activations. And it ended up being that the uh, Imperial player hadn't broken any units through themselves and were vastly up on points because Grievous had died early. Mm. Um, and so the, the tank had this weak point in the rear, so that was weak point two. So everything was getting impact two that shot, and that is a heck of an attack from those droids. Very um, nice shot shooting there. We're in a guardian. Uh, one. Okay, so that brings it down to three after this is cover suppression. Suppression cover rather. Oof! Big yikes! That's it. It's going to be two droids lost or two clones lost there. That does hurt pretty substantially. <clears throat> This clone unit now down to only two troopers, but but to answer your question, Jay, in terms of the overall performance, it's been fun to watch in games. Mm -hmm. um, again, because we don't know the rest of its kit, it's a little bit underpowered. But I think right. I think the rest of the kit would be very useful. Yes. Um, but but uh, that impact too in the back, it's it's a. Uh, in most games, it really shouldn't come up, but in this game, it came up specifically because the tank had to do the breakthrough because it was the only way out for the CIS player. Yeah. At that point. So I'll I'll leave this open to any anyone here, but uh, Evan and I were talking about this about how, you know, we plan to keep investing in civil war units. Uh, you know, both both of them probably Rebel and Empire. It, are you guys and then with with the new clone wars we're probably only going to stick with one faction like i'm going to do cis and he's going to do clones are you guys kind of the same way you think or do you do you see yourselves continuing to to support multi-factions where do you guys see yourselves um i'll just answer that and say i'm, I'm definitely planning on continuing to main rebels um clones play a lot like the rebels because they are a you know, tight knit, cohesive band of troopers that are um, trying to use their wits to survive rather than sheer numbers. Yeah. Um, fortunately, they're they basically act like rebels with red defense dice <laughs> and token sharing, and so they have a lot of they have a lot of the upsides of both the empire and the rebels. Unfortunately, they have you know a lot of downside, which is they're very expensive and very elite, and so they suffer from you know elite syndrome in that uh, they trade badly. You have to 
start lower on activations and you have to you have to win trades basically and then force your elite units um on your opponent mm. and be aggressive you know make the play they, they have to be the playmakers rather than sort of the rest of you know horde faction who are you know uh chipping away at you for small mistakes in movement so how do you and, feel about cover here um well that's a good question so we got a bark speeder rolling up, gonna shoot some droids, and we got a cover mismatch. So let's see where we go. I only need four, and I think I have four. I guess my question is, can he see the guys' faces in the back? I think he can. Thing. I think he can, but I think I still oh, got yeah. these four here. Oh, because that's an eight-man unit. Yep. Okay. All right. Sweet. Um, we're still gonna take the shot, obviously. Okay. Um. Red, triple black, triple white. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Pretty decent pool for a unit with surge to hit. Mm, not great. Mm, uh, just not a great result. Yeah. Oof. One coming through. Oh, there was another surge in there. Oh, oh my goodness. Your save. <laughs> <laughs> droids are like saving better than my clone. Yeah, it, it starts to feel that way. <laughs> So, uh, um, so Kyle, you started with Rebels. You moved. You you started getting into Empire, and now you're in CIS. So, do you see yourself continuing with three, three uh, armies, or do you think you'll end up choosing one? Um, I'm going to continue with three. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've said that they're going to slow down the the GCW releases anyway, so I think that'll be more manageable. Um, do you mind hitting the range band on these guys again? Oh, yeah. That's fine. And uh, Mike, what about you? Uh, I'm probably gonna play clones. Uh, I'm like I'm gonna own all four armies, but uh, you know I'm definitely I don't like things with bad armor saves. Mm. So <laughs> you mean half the factions in the game? Yes. All right, That's thank good. you. I'm I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm the same. I'm I'm probably gonna stick with Empire. Uh, even though I am I am getting into CIS a little bit, but I think Empire is gonna be my main my main army so here so here we see the results unfortunately of aggression because now there is have the ample opportunity to punish the bark speeder for this move but it is going to take the heat off the clones yeah that's kind of so weird. suppression yeah, it looks like an open shot so just the cover one from the yeah yeah i couldn't really navigate that yeah the uh it's kind of weird the guy man you... <laughs> oh, it's, it's that it's that um, curse it is that curse blue roller man right all right, so, so five, nine, four. yep, because right. these guys do not have a search target, and we'll pull that suppression off with strict. Oh, oh man, dude, oh. three going oh. through on the bark speeder that is rough, so gross, uh, instantly damaged after one attack. Yeah, I actually think the barks are like pretty bad. Um, I, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like if I had an option, I wouldn't take them, but I don't. So. Um, uh, so that's. That is... I think that's that's the one where you roll a white die, and if you roll paint, you get two actions. Yeah, that's that's, yeah, that's the whatever. the broken gear, that one. It's not a big deal. Um, though he's probably dead now. Oh, that should not be. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I guess we're kind of at the point where we're just gonna start trading. So I'm gonna pull out of that. Okay. All right. So a, a, a Paul falls over the yeah. the battlefield. <laughs> so sort of mour we're mourning that bark speeder. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> we both we both encountered a variance event of a certain magnitude, and we're just kind of like you know awed by it a little bit, maybe. Well, he's not dead yet. He, no, he's not dead yet, but uh. But he's you know, not dead it's, yet. Little, it's a little pyth a little python esque. Yeah, yeah. He, he may as well be. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's actually gonna end up being a problem. You'll be, um, you'll be stoned. Here, let's just. Moment. Yeah, we can just like. We know that it's. It. We know that it's the barricade. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Probably. 
All right, so the clone's laterally moving outside the barricade, finding range three on a unit that shot the bark speeder, getting vengeance for their vehicular comrade here. Yeah. That is quite the wordplay, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> vengeance for vehicular. <laughs> I'm surprised yeah. you couldn't come up with a V for that. Yeah. Uh, I could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, 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 I'm a bit of a, a bit of a wordsmith sometimes. <laughs> I like. Or it. I, I mean, I mean, I, I get accused constantly of using ten dollar words. <laughs> is uh, is I, that like an uh, expensive tech. word? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Ten dollars is apparently yeah. expensive for a $10 word. Ten dollars is a lot for a word. Hey, two crits. Especially it's not horrible. Especially where I come from. Oh, yeah. nice. It's no saves there, so the droids are going to take a couple more casualties there. So the droids are being bled. Somewhat, but the so are the clones. Um, yeah, things are things are it, it's early yet. Mm -hmm. It's early yet. Um, things haven't gone the clones' way the last few acts of this uh, this turn, but there is a lot of game to play, and uh, now we see that things may get seriously dire because there is another clone, another droid unit, take a shot on the injured bark and maybe. Maybe just maybe finish it off. We've heard nothing yet from Grievous this game, so there is much action still to come. Yeah, so that's an interesting tactics point on on Separatists. I feel I generally like to play conservative with Grievous and kind of let my B ones do stuff until like later in the game when Except actions are. Yesterday. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. Except for yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? His his cloak was sticking out. Uh, <laughs> I got my Grievous killed on turn two in a tournament yesterday. Ouch, man. Oh man! I thought that he That's was like rough. safely ensconced in this building, and he was not. <laughs> yeah. That uh, you know, that same thing happened to me in the Yavin base team league when we were doing the team league. I had that Grievous, and his cloak was floating out and took all these shots. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Holy cow! These droids are just wrecking face. Come on, let me see that for. Oh, oh, oh so I'm just playing a search dead. token. Yo. Yeah. Oh, so he's on live on one? Yeah, yeah, he's alive. Beauty. Okay, at least make them waste another shot that doesn't suppress clones or injure them. That's actually yeah. pretty good. Amazing. So, if nothing else, the barks are meat shields because if they are ignored, they are fairly threatening. Yeah. Their dice pool can catch things out of cover. All right. Uh, we are going to pull our last trooper unit out. All right. I don't think they're going to be able to do any turn. I love it when you think you've muted your phone <laughs> and then someone texts you yeah. in the middle of a show. That's perfect. Yeah. Mine's always on vibrate. Mm -hmm. Same. I'm not going to make a joke. Must here. be nice for you. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, just over two hours left in the match. Uh, the nondescript CIS player versus the anonymous <laughs> clone player. <laughs> uh, the contemplative, the master, of the contemplative next scratch. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing, uh, you know, a, a battle of of wits and. Uh, Caution here. I We're guess. also seeing why DC 15s are good. Yeah, I mean, they're fine. They're yeah. also like five more points. That's well, also is, true. If, if you're taking like range for like two die pot shots into droids, like yeah, it's not where you pee. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. As, uh, so have all your core units gone? They have. Okay. I've only got this bark left. Okay. Um, oh, then I'm going to go with Grievous. Yeah. Pull him by himself from the stack. Sure. Yes. And here goes Grievous. The wannabe Jedi. He's gonna get a running start here, folks. And... He's gonna start. He's gonna start scaling over things because he has unhindered thanks to scale. He is not even close to slowed down by this no. supposedly difficult terrain. He's gonna do whatever he wants and then do yeah, more is, of that. This is this is nothing to Grievous here. This yeah. uh this LAAT that he's walking over. Oh man. Could you imagine just that. seeing this spider like oh. creature climbing up and over it stuff at you? God. Oh, I don't have to imagine. Dustin Ferran did that to me in League. 
his uh his grievous just bounded across the laat and unleashed jedi arts on my blob of rebel troopers and i was very sad i don't think there's any way for him to get them out of cover so this is a relentless from <clears throat> potentially with his uh dt57 annihilator pistol at range two yep. Yep. that is definitely about to happen actually let's see maybe i'll do it over there maybe we'll do it over there he said the beauty, <laughs> the beauty of general grievous oh you got a million dodges though it doesn't matter whether i get them out of cover or not yeah <laughs> i mean you're crit fishing right <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> yeah i'm sh i'm straight up crit fishing regardless of how i do this so yeah yeah i have three dodges minimally mm -hmm. If you're listening and not watching at home, Grievous just wigged out <laughs> like three feet across the table. So that was yeah, interesting. He, <laughs> he did like this horizontal spin move that looked like a he looked like a car wash. Yep, that's cover. He was just right. he <laughs> saw some, he saw some dirt on the ground over there. He wanted to clean up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except, except he's on an entire planet of dirt. Yeah, well, you know, tomato, tomato. Oh, there it is. There's a crit. <laughs> it gets the surge on the white dice and nails that Z6, and uh, killing this Z6 trooper from the clone unit here. <clears throat> really unfortunate. So these clones are down to just their unit leader. Oof. So the droids uh, giving hell to the clones here. And now the repulsor vehicle moves across the last mine on the board that uh, is being ignored by basically the entire army, all the armies here. They do not really care about it. Now, this is a struggle that droids are going to have on this objective with key positions because this is definitely a pure attrition sort of scenario. Yeah. And droids are amazing at attrition wars. <laughs> sort of by design, right? So, you know, really what had happened there was the Persians came and told the 300 that their arrows would block out the sun. And the clone, yeah. the clone said, well, then we'll fight in the shade. And it turns out they got shot. So it happens. It turns out <laughs> we'll fight in the shade. It turns out, uh, you know, the shade is full of sharp things Yeah, that uh, rain from the sky and stab you. We'll see how many more references to the movie 300 I can make during this. <laughs> oh yeah, please. No, no, continue working them in. They're they're gold. Yeah. So this bark is desperately trying to to shoot at something other than a droid cut. I don't know if it's going to be able to make that happen. And then uh, hey, yeah, probably not. Yeah. Not without like exposing yourself. Yeah, I mean, don't let us make the decision for you, buddy. You shoot whatever you want. Yeah, you do you do whatever you like. This is your yeah. game to play. Yeah, you do you. Yeah, you do you. We'll just mock you for it. Yeah, yeah we're just talking here. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Typical. Yeah. I really think, right. you know, for both of us but doing our podcast for a year and that's if anything, that's that's been our call sign is us just mocking each other for us being us. <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, you good? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not. Now, were you being, now, were you being sarcastic or literal, Jay? Because hard to tell. Because isn't it? <laughs> it's hard to hard to tell, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, you tell me. Uh, you tell me. <laughs> oh my goodness! What a what a spirit of conviviality. <laughs> All right, so number six droids are attempting to secure range three on clones, potentially, but they definitely have no, this bark. I, I want three on the bark and not three on the clones. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, David, you're wrong. Yeah, thanks for commenting. <laughs> now go home. Can they see wow. this thing? Yeah, okay. It's like, the, it's like the entire comment section on a YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> like, thanks for commenting. Now please go home. Yep. Thanks for showing up. We appreciate yep, your feedback. We appreciate it. It'll go right in the trash bin. Thank you. Oh, wow. There we go. So seven and, and three. Full, you know? Yep. And continuing to wreck house with two crits there. Two crits. Oh, my goodness. 
Well, a 25% chance to save this here. And this is on the bark. And he yes, saves. Yeah. Nice. He sticks the land. There you go. That bark holding in there. Yeah. So the, the droid's having to spend a significant amount of time trying to shoot this bark down. Now Kyle's just got like 30 more activations and, <laughs> and this turn. Well, by 30, I think you mean one? It feels like 30. It feels like, it always feels like 30 when it's CIS. Oh, somebody released the war elephant. What was that noise in the background? It sounded like a, it sounded like a car if you, there. If you look in my window, you can see this. Oh, the yeah, lights there they and are. Sirens. Yeah. 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 That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> See another reference to uh, three hundred, the war elephants. So that I'm gonna get them all in, every single one. All right, heavy cover there, obviously. All right, Droidica's Ew. moving up to shoot some clones. Come on, baby, hold together. What do we got? Uh, I got a name uh, token. Not much, but it does have a name token. So he could he could potentially pull two. Oh, why am I not rerolling this red? What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, because you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Well, the reason right. I can think we'll of spend that spend that surge to five. Down to sure, three. I'll spend a uh, dodge here. Dodge. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> spend a million dodges. Uh, yeah, dodge I guess I should have just shot the bark. All right. Uh, that was <laughs> which squad were you shooting at? Uh, this one. I here. think the white clones there. Yeah. The white clones. They're all well, they're all. I know they're all white. Yikes, guys! That's a big yikes. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> We're talking uh, about their armor, <clears throat> Mike. I mean, cl I mean, clones all look the same to me. <laughs> <sighs> all yeah. right, we're heading into round three. All right, uh, there's decisions. I mean, so do droids too. I mean, they're they're mass produced, so I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. All right, here we go. I mean, I mean, what what is it? What is it that you guys say in your field? Brand architecture. You got to make sure the droids are recognizable. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So of course they look the same because you want to make sure you know that this is B one. Battle droids. Right. It's. I mean, it gets confusing, you know. And you want trademark, to... trademark the trade federation. That's right. Who's orders, on your team? orders going to them. Who's not on your team. Yep. Interesting. What shot are you going for here? The one you'll least expect. She just shoot Grievous. Come on. <laughs> um, I'm gonna stag and shuffle. Yeah. Hang on. I gotta decide who I'm good doing orders to. Yes. Oh, it's an ambush though. So this is this is interesting. Got an ambush with that with that face up token. A thing might happen here. A thing called us maybe some support involving some fire. I don't know. I don't know that he's in range of Grievous right now. Mm, that is a close one indeed. I don't know. Ah, ah, right. I don't Get know. Right. Range of Grievous. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know if you're out of range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give an order to Grievous so that he has a surge token. Um, and then I'm going to give one to this B1 here to bounce it down, and then I'm going to give one to Droidica for the, the other crap, and he'll be okay. by himself. Yeah, I'll see you, yeah. I'm and not locked in here. Surges, uh, Grievous. Ooh, it's going to get interesting here, folks. Yeah, I'm hoping for some big shot here. What's going to be gonna really awkward see. is when I don't bother for it. Yeah, I'm stack. just like... <laughs> This is when you don't pull a support out of your stack. Well, right. I mean, I, I, a support would probably also be fine, frankly. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. yeah I, just, would be I just don't want to. I just don't want to draw Kenobi. Yeah, please don't draw. Kenobi. That would be real bad. That's yeah. exactly what you're gonna draw. No, don't don't jinx. <laughs> don't curse. It's, 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 jinx, it's one, jinx, one in jinx. seven times I draw. Yep, it's gonna happen. Games. That's go. Yep. Yep. Um, this is always the risk. Good? Yeah, I'm good. Here we go. All right, let's do this thing. Yes! <laughs> oh, I got a core. There you go. Nice. All right, so the question is, it's not going to be this guy, even though I want it. Yeah, please, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think it should probably be a full unit, because... I, I want blood. <laughs> yeah. We demand justice. Fire yeah. at those droids. Well, we're not shooting at droids, my dude. Yeah, he's yeah. shooting at, he's shooting at uh, Grievous. Yeah, so he's, he, uh... that's it. 
This is another yeah. like I'm like oh, I'm good. I'm not. I'm not gonna yeah. range three. I use yeah, the tool like, instead of the <laughs> surprise. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be painful. This a, yeah, this could hurt. This is, this is a isn't this a twenty dice fire support? Yeah, yep. pretty good. Yeah, oh this is man. Enough. Yeah, this ladies is good. and gentlemen, what we're about to see. <laughs> yeah, this is this is hot. Oh, look uh, at all those glorious dice. Yes. Yeah, so you just dump out a handful. <laughs> Two oh hands full. <laughs> yep. There's, there's three black, dice. Here we go. <laughs> you did this, Kyle. I you know. know. <laughs> I know. Uh, drop the hammer, boys. Not uh, good. Uh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to spend the surge token. Yep. Okay. Um, so that'll be seven before cover and five after. So 20 okay. dice down, seven, five. Not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all, considering... Well, the, you have to remember, these are black and white dice without surges. Two, two wounds. wounds. Two wounds coming through. That's uh, that's fair. I mean, that's that's just a chunk of Grievous Health. That's a quarter. Yeah, yeah. that's not what I wanted to get done there. It is yeah, bad. I mean, it, it could be no wounds, right? Like, you're kind of feeling good about two wounds, I think. Yeah. Especially when Kenobi's lost one health versus Grievous two health. I mean, I think that's still... You're yeah. still feeling decent there. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm okay with it. I just... um. I'm going to activate Grievous. All yeah. right. Here he comes. I'm going to shoot that guy for his first action. Sure. All right. Um, Without moving. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, because I, I got to shoot him at range, too. I could move, like, over here, I guess, but that doesn't particularly interest me. So let's go ahead and shoot him. Yeah. Do nothing nothing, interest nothing interests you except for clone clone blood. <laughs> yeah, and winning. Anyway, <laughs> something something I clearly don't know how to do, Jeff. There it is. Oh, look at that! Getting the perfect result with a single surge there. Critical surge. And good. finishing off that activation and instantly retreating. Yep. Yeah, let me just see where I want him to be here. So again, uh, the scale keyword providing Grievous with a a kind of baked in version of unhindered, so he is able to traverse this difficult terrain with no uh, no slowdown whatsoever. It's such an amazing keyword. It is a, it is great because it's like several keywords contained. Yeah. In itself, right, you still got the surge. Oh, we'll pull yep. that off with strict. Mm. Yeah, I mean, no one should underestimate mobility. Um, mobility is extremely valuable. Um, I'm gonna roll a rally on that guy. Yep. All right, so we're trying to get one last shot out of this bark before it dies, and he does not quite get the. Uh, still gets compulsory though. Yeah, he gets a compulsory move. Can take a shot. Um, I'm not gonna get anything out of. Just ram it down his throat. You got this. Um, yeah. Hey, at least he's touching the key position. There you go. <laughs> You're winning. That's the spirit. <laughs> That's the spirit. Get get on there. Um, one, two, three. There's six guys up in that squad. Uh, I, I count six. Yes. Yep. Can I see the other squad? I count totally six too. One sec. One sec. Learning to count in Legion, it's a thing. It's a good thing. Six battle droids. I, <laughs> I think I think I could have gotten these two had I not. Oh no. Yeah, that was a mistake. They were uh, far back there, so the bark curved right. in. This is what it is. Uh heavy cover. Alright, here we go. So the bark taking another shot here on its own. Let's see if it gets anything done. Yeah. Two. It will get two through, so it'll it'll claim some droids. It'll get oh. two droids. I was I was ready for that one to flip to the block's face. <laughs> uh, I was so ready. Isn't it, it always, almost it almost did it? Isn't it always the way too with white dice when you're like, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get them, and then you're like, what? What just happened? No. Oh man! Sometimes you get those crazy games where where your rebel troopers save like death troopers. Oh yeah, yeah. And you're just like, wow! I did not expect this. No. All right, so I'm not gonna take an aim token. I'm just gonna attack those clones there. Sure. Heavy. Yep. So pew pew from a droidica. Okay. Heavy covered clones. They do have that aim from. LTA. Good old LTA. Oh, and we'll wow. spend that surge, so six. Another <clears throat> perfect roll out from the Jordicas because they have plenty of this 
uh, dice fixing tech with between link targeting array and oh man that's three clones surge down. token yep. and that is a big hit against those clones three clones dying there to the droidicas wow they are very potent these droidicas when they are fully armed like that yeah i find it's it's really important to support them with those uh link targeting yeah, array and then they uh, don't have lta they're real bad i mean they're yeah. not real bad they're just like not as good clearly right yeah they're not that aim token it helps them out so much. Um, all right, I'm gonna pull out a sack. Uh, we've got a core unit. I think it's the fact that all their dice are quality, right? Like with the surge token, every die potentially is you know greater than fifty percent to reroll. So it it has just such a high potential for benefit from fixing your dice with an aim token. Just like so it's it's just a natural fit there. Hold on right here. Okay, getting some droids out here. Gonna move them out, see what they can make happen. The longer the game goes on, the more threatening the droidic has become as well. Yeah. Because shields become much more powerful because there's not that much firepower left on the board to actually handle it. Yeah. So the regeneration starts to really pay off in the late game because they have that extra that extra wound coming back all the time. So currently, where things stand, where we are today, what is the what is the biggest threat to, let's say, the CIS army? Mm, um, flamers. Yeah, flame snows with Palpatine. Well, any kind of ooh, any kind of flamers. Oh, oh my goodness! So a relatively weak attack from the clones there, not very quality, just getting two hits and suppressing. That's All right, always, so you got you got these guys C6. still in this park. Uh, uh, Obi Wan, yeah. That's Z six for you, right? Like sometimes that you they god roll, and then the next time they don't show up at all. It's just yeah. It's both both sides have these kind of inconsistent dice pools with the configurations that the that the players are running. Um, for not but I mean again, players. Yeah, you're sort of you're sort <laughs> of waiting for you're waiting for the big swings, yeah. right? Unless you're a Droidica and you just fix your dice with LTA. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that uh, link targeting array is so good. Super good. I can't wait to put it on some uh, I, Empire stuff and play around I, with it. I think the damage is just incredibly consistent. It's a full unit still. Yeah, like those. The thing, the thing with link targeting or array on Droidicas is they have reds and blacks, so they have all really high quality dice. You're pretty much guaranteed to get some value out of that aim. Mm-hmm. Yep, um, two crits. Do they have a surge or no? Uh, they do not have a surge token. <clears throat> Yikes. One making it through. Yeah. This is going to be a quick game, gentlemen. So right now it's activation control, but do we? what do we think is the biggest threat besides activation control for clones? Suppression. Yeah, suppression and pierce, so snipers. Yep. Yeah, so those are those are all very challenging. Um, the repertoire is fairly limited at this moment. Oof, keeping all that suppression. Luckily, yeah. he's got Kenobi, so he's still yeah. Has yeah, he's one not going to panic. He's got his he's got his uh, courage level. Yeah, yeah preserve that is... preserve that dude. Yeah, keep that keep that activation alive so you can feed tokens to the others. And that is now the beauty of clones too, is that even if we have when you have a single unit leader, they're always useful as long as they're in range of someone else to share tokens. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that that's really interesting, like comparatively speaking to like Empire. <laughs> like when you're down to just one unit leader in the empire let's say with a stormtrooper unit you're like i just gotta hide this guy and he's literally gonna do nothing for a while until yeah. there's like a last minute push to an, an objective but with clones they're still very useful so so preserving them is is a higher priority definitely not not even just so that they don't give up their points right but the added layer of being able to share your tokens yeah they can still add something to the army do it and attack his first action. Sure. Okay. Got a droid attack on a clone unit. With yep, one crit. One coming through. And pulled with suppression off. That's true. 
Save. Nice. That was safe. Man, you always shut the attack off before I click the suppression tab. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> dang it, Kyle. Too fast. <laughs> He's doing it just to tilt you. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of psychological, subtle psychological warfare. Still <laughs> Mike, how I you keep feeling? The, okay, no, there he is. Um, I mean, where'd you head at, buddy? This game's very close to over. But, uh, but we're going to keep on keeping on. Yeah, don't give up. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> never give in, never, never surrender. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> you can do this. This plays this plays out like every episode of Clone Wars, right? <laughs> yes. Except Pretty in those much. ones, Obi-Wan goes in there and like hacks up a bunch of stuff all by himself. I mean, he still can. Looking, he still could, yeah. It's not looking quite as promising. Yeah. I mean, I would at least consider it at this juncture. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm considering lots of things right now. It's just a question of like, so you've gone with yeah. these guys. You've gone with these guys. Gray has not gone. Uh, Gray has not gone, and this guy should be like right there. I think he got bumped just now. Are you yeah, he got bumped by a movement tool. You should consider taking a knee, and you could become the king of all of Greece, the warlord of Greece. <laughs> yeah. So I still have four B ones left, <laughs> and then um, this Tradica unit also. <laughs> So Jay, I think they're gonna get that reference. They're gonna be like, "What the heck was Jay on <laughs> this one?" <laughs> I got you, buddy. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> Told you it's gonna be all game. <laughs> Jump. Run for your life. I just. I don't love this in any in any degree. He took off his helmet because it blocked his view. His armor was heavy, so he set it down. <laughs> uh, I thought your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. <laughs> He's just gonna have to go back here. This is just not really working out. Right. Uh, yeah, trying to move. Kenobi around, but he sees this little goat path over here where he can get flanked. So he's just kind of pulling back. That is a that is a very deadly goat path. You do not want to lose Obi Wan to the goat path. No. I uh, I'm I'm really glad that we played this game today because I haven't played this map for Invader yet. Yeah, um, this, you... ship, this ship is brutal. It it's, is <laughs> very strong. Yeah, there's there's a there's a, there's a good reason to bid on this map, and it's yeah. this right here. <laughs> yep, yep, the LAAT. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go with pink. So, what else, guys? What 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 else is going on? What, what do you guys think? You got a year in. You've been doing podcasting for a year. Do you mind hitting range on blue? Yeah. Sorry. What uh? What was the most difficult thing about starting a podcast for you guys? Uh, we were working with this guy named Jay Shalansky. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it must have been so hard. Yeah. Oh man, this guy so high maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> um, but really, uh, I think I don't know. I, for me, I think that thing has actually been like writing art the po the podcast part is like pretty easy mm. um i mean you, to be frank you do all the hard work jay <laughs> yeah i mean you do all the editing and all the yeah. all the, the behind the scenes stuff that keeps the keeps the engine running so nah. but i mean was it nah, so for you guys you guys were doing so you weren't doing anything like this before I mean, you know, David, you you've done like singing and directing choirs and stuff oh, like that. Yeah. So you've done publicly, you know, public facing stuff before. Yep. Okay. Uh, right. But for Mike and Mike and Kyle, was it was it difficult to do like a podcast and to be like trying to talk and articulate what your thoughts and stuff verbally uh, just through podcast or, or did that seem to come kind of relatively easy? 
Um, I don't know. Well, Kyle, I'll let you feel that one off. Yeah, um, I mean, it wasn't for me. First of all, um, I love Legion, and it's always easy to talk about stuff that you're passionate about. Um, but also, like, for my day job, I have to testify occasionally. So this is, like, you know, verbalizing thoughts is easy for me anyway. Um, but it's mostly just that, like, um, it's mostly just that Legion is awesome, and, you know, all of us are passionate about it, and uh, we talk about it constantly anyway, so we just get to record, you know, an hour or two of that conversation every week. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's <laughs> for me, the most difficult part has just been the scheduling. You know, I um, shout out to my wife for being so amazing and letting me do this once a week. Um, I got two young kids, so, um, you know, sometimes just like for me personally, getting them into bed and stuff on time just so we can record is yep. uh, kind of a struggle. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, it sure can be. Yeah, I thought your biggest struggle was saying uh, Notorious. Oh my gosh, I still can't say that right. Notorious, <laughs> notorious. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, I rolled one blank already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Did you Did you spend your aim? I did. Oh, that's after your aim. Okay. Oh no. Oh, man. <laughs> man, man, I'm sorry. Oh, These that's brutal. Are not the, they're not outputting the damage they needed to. Yep. No. All right. And I'm gonna. They, I'm gonna. They, yeah, we're, we're, so the deck we're from seeing the quite the opposite here, aren't we? Where yeah, the, the they're, droids they're are outputting damage and the clones are just coming up short a little bit. Well, the the droids are just smacking them around with these uh, these high quality dice pools and these lucky variances, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's, been, it's not really so. That's sort of the thing about droids. It's not yeah. really variants. Um, okay. They're. I mean, like. They're just throwing so many dice. Yeah, yeah. They just, they just bury you in dice. You're like, I'm, I'm getting hit constantly by these crappy dice, but yeah. you're, you're getting hit by sixty plus dice a turn. Yeah, it's a. Uh, <laughs> so, like, all right, we'll just like, attack the the wounded bark there. You're getting, so, you're getting a flea bit to death, basically. Uh, there, there's so damage. two after cover. Okay. Dose, can you stick the landing once more? Yes, you can. And he does. Right. And second action is just going to pivot. The yeah. bark refusing to die. I mean, it's likely going to die this turn. Yeah, I have more. I have more things to shoot still. It could yeah. stay alive if its heart is pure. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you out? I am out. Yeah. Uh, oh no, it's okay. going to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll go, we'll go. We'll so go much gray. The so much for pure heart. Yeah. Attack it. Yeah. That's okay. You play empire. I don't know. I guess the gods will it. The oracle told us this would happen. Right. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't dare threaten a messenger. <laughs> uh, it's been my aim. Sure. Um, they don't have a surge, I don't think. Oh, 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 oh. The oh. double convert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Five coming through. And. Oh. Yeah. There it goes. Perfectly average roll. Not enough to survive. You know, I had enough bark, but not enough bite. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Jay. That's pretty good. Uh, That's Jay. pretty good. Uh, <laughs> Nothing but the top, top notch uh, commentary here. You killed Obi Wan's duck. <laughs> <laughs> He's only got two of those. <laughs> oh, these poor things. Hmm. Uh, Another move here. So, yeah, looking looking bad for the clones, but they've it seen, has been they've seen worse. Oh yeah, I mean this is I mean some of them I mean a few of these guys survived on bar, so I mean they've known pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that guy see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you should probably use the correct cohesion radius. You you felt. Oh, is that range one? Yes. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm like wow. That's. <laughs> You got. You got to watch like this to guy. Say this game is rendered invalid. <laughs> yeah, it's been cheating. Since yeah, we started. it's cheating. Uh, <laughs> cheating the cheaters yeah. up here. Stop <laughs> caring about cohesion and difficult terrain. Long ago. <laughs> You're like, I'm just gonna keep rolling dice until you can cheat. Because <laughs> that's droids. Unbelievable. Uh, all right. Wow, he got ten crits. <laughs> No, just, uh, two. Uh, just just two, and Either. I do have a surge token, so we'll go ahead. And uh -oh. that. Uh -oh. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Yep. Three, and then they're gonna lose one, dude. Dude. 
Stop turning the thing off. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just trying to play faster. All right, they're gonna recover. Don't worry. So that clears this. We're gonna tell their story, and soon they'll feel the full force of a clone that. army ten thousand strong, backed by the rest of the empire. I mean, don't you mean the Republic? Sure, that's what sure. I mean. That's what I mean. That's, That's what, what they want. want you to think. It's a republic, but we all know what's happening behind the scenes. We know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> okay. All right. This isn't a you, republic. <laughs> you, you wicked, wicked devil. Yeah. I'm gonna. All right. They'll tell it from free clone to free yeah. clone <laughs> about what Kenobi and his three hundred did on the battlefield. All right, well, we got to make something happen here. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> <That's a cowardly laughs> thing. Hey, General Kenobi versus Crush Them. I think it is uh, your role this time, sir. It is. <coughs> One surge for each defeated enemy unit. Well, there are just a, f a few of those. I think it's only two, actually. It's only two, actually, yeah. Hmm. Almost three. You you missed one. Three pip versus three pip. All right, so the orders are going to go to the decas, right? Because of course they are. Someone vacuuming <laughs> in the background. Yeah. That's, yep. Cleaning Let's up just... the smoldering ash of Mike's <laughs> army. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the perfect sound to accompany the end of this game. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna trip the uplink here. Get out of here. Because the cards have just sucked. <laughs> uh, bounce the pink. Bounce. You the said it, not me. Because right uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> um... Kyle's about to clean him up. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Uh, Jay, you're merciless. <laughs> yeah, that's that's brutal, man. I would wish that on my worst enemy. I mean, you know, Kyle knew he had a significant going in this game, so because he's Kyle. No, because he's playing CIA. Because he's playing CIS. <laughs> like, what? Like, what is this? He like, came into this game going, "I'm Kyle Dornbos. I've got look an at, advantage." Look at this guy with his with his double surges because of the uh, crush them. Oh well, my gosh! It's it's not on everybody. No, True. no, it's on three. Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got it. I just and then I still have aggressive tactics. Right. So they're gonna have triple surge. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Play. I'm not gonna double up here. I gotta. I gotta feed yeah. some B ones here. <laughs> I got. I got more mouths to feed. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, Mama Bird's got to give these baby B ones some surge tokens. You get a surge, and you get a surge, and you get a exactly. surge. You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta feed those those B ones so they grow up right. So, how many surge tokens do you have? Like fifteen? Uh, yes, I have exactly fifteen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, speaking of surge, I'm <laughs> no, sorry. These guys, this guy probably has too many. Uh, yeah. What yeah. So, so General have? Kenobi um basically rewards you for balling up and gives you like a million surges, and by a million, I mean yeah. like fifteen or more. So we got a special treat for all our listeners. Uh, our oh. guest today, if you look under your chairs at home, you'll find a surge attached to it. <laughs> you that's, that's for yeah, you, yeah. free ahead. from Mike and Kyle. If you look under your chairs, you'll find absolutely nothing because haha ha, me. <laughs> I think. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, everything's he's, he's gonna fine. he's gonna obliterate a Whoa, here they come. Obliterate a fire support. Here. Come on, bring it, baby! Fire support. Who are you trying to get? Uh, I'm. I, I have them. It's just a question of like. I, you're trying to get them out of out of that sweet sweet I guess cover. I'm not gonna have cover because you're gonna be touching stupid ships. So yeah. it really doesn't yeah. matter. It's on. Um, got the bark coming around the corner. So I guess I guess uh, does this thing give cover to large things? It does. It does. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, it's, we're it's just gonna enough. go the full hop here, I think. Do it. Oh, do it. Do it. We're gonna take yep. both of those fine gentlemen who are in cover. Yep. And I'm gonna fire support with these guys. Oh, yeah. oh here we go. <laughs> that's what, I, that's what I'm looking it, forward to. Is this a full unit? No, they're down one guy. Okay. So it's like 16 dice still with surge to hit this time. 
with lots of searches. It should it should land. Well, no, the bark uh, has search to hit natively, so they can keep all those searches for defense or share them with his friends. Oh boy. That's oh. a lot. Oh, oh, hits. 12, yeah. 12 hits. Oh, yep. man. Yep. Uh, all right. Ride uh, the lightning. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all here right. we go. Uh, these guys are going to die. Yep. Uh, ten, uh, ten, 10 wounds. Saves. Good night. Or, thir- or what? Nine wounds? Even if I spend yeah. that surge, that would be nine wounds. Yeah, so, yeah. Nine wounds. They're, all, they're all dead. Yep. Uh, and he just erased the entire unit. <laughs> And that's the story of fire support, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Uh, when you absolutely need it dead, uh, call it in, because it... <laughs> That's yep. what could have happened to Grievous last year. Right, I exactly. <laughs> Just Except so he, he does have much better save, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, and he had cover. Yeah. Four or five dice. So, I mean, that's right, going to so help. They, so they went, right? Yes, they yeah. went. It'll, it'll help staunch the bleeding a little bit, plus there's a, a ton of surges, so basically... Yeah. Everybody in the clone army right now, except for the Bark and Obi, are going to save like Death yeah. Troopers. They um, called themselves we... Immortals. He put their name to the test. <laughs> Do these guys not have an order token? No, I think I pulled it by accident just now. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, how so would they not have them? an order token, right? Yeah, it's that one. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, I I bounced it up there and then right. to the guys that you killed um, just now. To cheat. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with hey, you, Mike. I'm with you. He's been cheating this whole time. It's ridiculous. Right. Uh, tisk, tisk. So who belong? I, I'm having trouble telling blues apart. Who belongs to this unit? It's one, two. The it, this guy is also in that unit. Okay. Uh, okay. Kyle, have you been tested for color blindness? Because those are really different. <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, All right. Yes, they are. For the folks at home watching at home, you can see that this these are actually well, purple. Do you mind hitting the rain well, bubble? Well, you can you can have trouble distinguishing colors even if you're not think. Like some people have different levels of ability to distinguish, right? Like there's a there's a test online for that. Kyle that should take the test. He probably should. Yeah, because that is a much different color. Some people just have a have a, a more Kyle is a numbers man though, so maybe that's the problem. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. That's like some some brain pseudoscience mm-hmm. stuff going on there. He's been doing know. too much math. His brain doesn't tolerate color yeah, his, anymore. His, his right brain is underdeveloped. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Kyle? You're underdeveloped on the right side. <laughs> so, <laughs> listeners, this is what it's like when we're not on the air. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Gondrels after dark. All right, so yeah, I think we got them in the open because I can see over that barricade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you can see, we're all incredibly annoying. <laughs> uh. Yikes, kids! <laughs> oh, did I? Just, I just rolled too many dice. I'm sorry. Let's see. Oh. One, two, Here three, four, five. Oh, great! I'm cheating again. Now he's gonna reroll the entire. I'll, I'll just, I'll just take the blanks out. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the standard convention when that happens is to reroll. Yeah, that is the standard yeah. convention. But watch, he's gonna re- he's gonna roll better. No, nope. yeah, never mind. Okay, I'll spend the I'll spend the surge. So too. So, so, so there is a god. Justice reigns. <laughs> um, uh, oh, 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 sure does. I spoke, it. Too, yeah. I spoke too soon. Oh my gosh. If there is a god, he sure doesn't like Mike. Uh, <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Uh, right, Ouch, sweet. man! <laughs> Yikes! He's a multi-armed droid. That's that's yeah. Yeah. His name's General Grievous. <laughs> <laughs> Kenobi. Uh, we're gonna dodge, dodge, standby. Okay. That seems good. It seems good. I mean, it doesn't seem good, but uh, it's something because. Uh, can't really do anything else right here. You're gonna have to send one of these clones off to tell your story. <laughs> it's probably the one that lost one of his eyes, so I would say this one maybe. Oh. Attack those boys. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Alright, spend that aim on the two reds. Yeah. It's about time that you got uh, a bad roll. 
Oh All my right. gosh. Spend oh, both oh, search tokens. There it is. So five. Five down to three. Dang. Uh, all right. I'm going to. She was. Uh, I'm going to Guardian 2. I'll roll one. I'll connect. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. I'm lagging or something. There we go. Yep. Oh. <sighs> Oh my god. At this point, it's better than a coin being dead. That's actually true, yes. That's probably true. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, we're going to spend a search token. Yes. Yep. I'll go ahead and get your expression here before Sweet. I. Death Trooper. <laughs> before you flick uh, the thing away. Yeah. Yep. All right. Pulling out of the bag. Um, We probably should go with these guys. Core Trooper. All right, Chupa. Doing it. Now, now, Jay, is this just like the simulations? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> <sighs> Someone modeled their uh, DC-15 with the running mini to do that. Really? To do that one. That was yeah. They they really did. They just made that meme in oh, real life. It was cool. great. Yeah, I like that. And the heavy. Wow. There you oh, go. No! yes. <laughs> the clown strike back. Five oh. through. Four. Oh. <laughs> That's the god roll. I love it. Here we go. Okay. Right, okay. I'll spend that surge kills. token. Saves two. Uh, it only kills oh, three. Sorry. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I rolled saves. <laughs> Turns out when you give. Droid troopers, rebel saves, they get a lot better. Yeah, they yeah. suddenly get a lot better. <laughs> yeah, they're six point rebel troopers, basically. Yeah. Right. And suppression. <clears throat> All right, so they just went, so you've just got the dudes in the back. And this lone trooper. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, these, these droidicas have just been have just been pounding this clone position for the entire game. Yeah, I mean. and just stacking bodies, frankly. <laughs> Jordicas are pretty good. Yeah, they, especially when they get to shoot all game. They're really good. That lone trooper screams struck terror in the hearts of their enemy. Spend that surge. So four down to two. Okay, uh, I'm going to guardian the... Do it. Okay. Come on, come on, Obi-Wan. I believe in um, you. Do and it. then I'm gonna roll for the clone. Hey. Okay. Yep. Two more suppression. There we go. Are roll you at that right now? Or are you just hovering over? I got it. That one should be four total, right? Yep. Sweet. Um. All right. We got an hour and 18 minutes left in game. It's gonna be over much sooner than that. But we'll <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Jay. Uh, all right. Oh, so this wow. guy removes the suppression token. He's gonna take an a. So wait a sec. Uh, you got a lot of face-up core unit tokens over here, and I'm not. Quite... This is these guys. This is these guys. This is gray is brown. Yeah, trying to keep them next to the unit leaders. I know it gets a little sticky. Um. Mm. All right, this guy's gonna take a dodge token. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. These guys have been taking a lot of shots. Tanking they have. a lot of shots. They have, but, you know. All right, so you just have Obi-Wan went already. So is it just these guys in the back? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, and Kyle, you just got these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys, these guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just got like five units left. No, no yeah. big whoop. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'm going to recover with these guys to flip the uplink again. Sure. And then I'm just going to shoot the spark. Solid yeah. plan, solid plan. Yep. Mm -hmm. Clears the thing. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's too many. Yep. Yep. You tell him, Jay. I, yep. I'll stop <laughs> him from one. cheating. Uh, one. Uh, one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey. Nice, nice save so, from the bark. I think I have a confession to make. You cheated. Hmm. Uh -oh. I should have spent this surge before, not the oh. other one, because these surge tokens are this guy's. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's important. 
Yep. That that is substantially like, important. We don't have to fix anything, but yeah, I, I don't I don't think it made a difference. No, because yeah. these guys are range one. They can. Yep. Well, it'll make it. It'll make a uh, difference. Judge call well, uh, giving the win to Mike. It turns out. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. I guess I'm gonna go with these guys. They're gonna roll the rally. Come on, come on, lads. Ah. Oh. They do not rally. They stay suppressed. They still have range though, so they are gonna attack something. Yeah. I think that's probably just light cover. Uh. I know the barricade is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got four on the barricade there. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Must be nice having all the heavy cover. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two. Yep. Dose. Surge, surge dragon's really coming in handy. When... Yeah. Uh, Nerfly did an amazing job d designing this board. He did. He did. I'm just joking. <laughs> Come on. I mean, the there are like, you know, this line of sight blocker is closer to the middle. This was the best. This is a strong ever position done. right there. It's all heavy yeah. cover. But... Yeah, it's all heavy cover. You just, know. We're just kidding, uh, Nerfly. <clears throat> All right, so you're done, right? Y yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you will be soon. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> All right, here he comes. General G. Here comes old spider arms. Yep. Yeah. Is he going to charge the bark? What is he yeah, going to do? Yeah, this one's pretty unavoidable. Yeah. It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. <clears throat> yeah. Rut row shit. To he's get got... last to get last first hit by Grievous. We'll see. He's got hello there still. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, um, it's not very good here. Uh yeah, and I think that I am Yeah, Obi Wan's cards are extremely powerful still within the manner the situation. Well, yeah, the, the, the thing about it is that uh Clones just need better units that aren't barks right now. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, they they they're a little bit of that's not a little underwhelming. Four. Yeah, that might just be what one damage. Two well, damage? it's got a pierce too. So it's two damage. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna you uh, I'm gonna spend a surge, so he only takes three. Yep, but it's still a damaged bark. Oh gosh. Yeah, I mean they're Ugh. they're bad. They're, they're more expensive than an ATRG, and they're easier to kill. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, rolling for mm. damage. They're gonna need a little, a little points, something, something, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, they're very reminiscent of like. Yeah, uh, like old ATRT, right? Yeah. I mean, definitely aim. the same model. Shoot the bark. Oops. Oh, sorry. You're moving my my model. Whoa! Oh, cheating Whoa. Again. Whoa. <laughs> oh boy! I'm dude. Did you, just, did you just crash the whole game? No, he rewound, but we'll see what happens. We could have just rotated the dude. Oh. Rewinding is never the answer. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. It didn't even work, so yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, folks at home, Kyle continues to <laughs> cheat. All right, uh, let's try this again. Um, is this your first time playing TTS, oh. nerd? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Hey, I, I I had to ask LJ how to sign up for Invader League. Oh, so that's how he got ten wins with Empire last season. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, th this picture starts to come into focus. Yeah, let me just hit undo here. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh -huh. right, so I've got an aim and a surge touching, so you don't get cover from it. Yeah. All right, here we go, Bark. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and spend that aim token. One crit, three hits so far with an aim, and four oh, hits, nice. one crit. Beautiful. Four coming through, and let's that see is... what we roll. Oh, oh no! Bark says no. Yeah. Bark says nine. Yeah. Nine. Thanks for showing okay. up. I still got a set uh, like three more. Oh, what was your damage token? Was it? Oh, it was the, the same one as last time. The gear? Okay. Yeah. 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 That's the that's the power of red saves. You still got how many surges? Three. Yeah. Yeah. 
It is the power of love. Let's do this. <laughs> that that was definitely not a three hundred reference. Nope. <laughs> that was a Huey Lewis in the News reference. <laughs> Let's take. <a> <laughs> Uh, one crit. One crit coming through. Let's see if the bark saves. Surge. Yes. Surge tokens. Yes. Value. Uh, all right. Well, I've only got one unit left to shoot it with, so I think it's probably going to live. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like it. I, I also think the uh, question Quickly. one if your leader can. Hmm? I think it's questionable if your leader can actually see it. Which one? Yeah, this guy. Oh. Mm, uh, uh, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I guess it depends on whether you count through this thing or not. It's questionable. Right. Judge? I would I would roll for it. <laughs> that's very that's very non-committal. Yeah. I'll just go ahead. I'll just go ahead and move. That's fine. All it right. depend it depends on it depends on uh, I'm so going to take a committed like... move and say your leader cannot see it from there. <laughs> it depends on how you're measuring it, really. I also think that it's pretty reasonable. Like, the tiny graph. See, I'm not actually sure it's relevant. Uh, I'm going to pull that off on script. Actually be there. <laughs> um, these guys have four suppression. I'm actually just going to aim and shoot those guys. Okay. Um, um, fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They still have a buttload of surges over there, right? And they've got dash token on this gentleman. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, it'll be fine. Go ahead, shoot him. See what happens. I should try and kill that bark. Kyle acting like his decisions matter, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, fine. you just you just it's killed fine. like a lot of droids. I'm I'm starting to look a little thin here. Yeah, it actually it actually is bleeding pretty hard at this I mean, point. Although yeah. Grievous has zero wounds, so that kind of... Or yeah, he has two. has two wounds. Thank yeah, you. that's right. That's right. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot. They use their surge on defense, so I don't have that. Oh. Uh, Ooh. That's kind, of, that's kind of grody there. A little grody. Three okay, got one through. The dodge through. Yeah. Yep. The Defo. Dodge. Suppression. Defo. Not even a question. Is that the turn? Yeah. Oh. He so. survived. Good wow. lord. Wow. Hour and eight minutes left, and the 300 still stand. They're down to 20, but, you know, they're there. By the way, folks, it's turn five. Yeah. Just turn five. Yeah. So this has gone by pretty quickly as far as TTS games go. So, uh, community, get good. <laughs> Take that, folks. Take that, community. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Oh, yeah. we got a one pip versus one pip. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Right, it's five, it's me, I think. Trained in your Jedi arts with hello there. The roll off. Oh, he loses. Yeah, you you win the priority. Oh, hmm. Hello there. All right. Well, um, General Kenobi. And this is where Leonidas made his final stand. I think I have to take a dodge token. I would like it to be other, but we do. He could feel the breeze right. on I'll his face. trip this uplink. Not going to be able to give them an order because he broke my chain up. Oh, take that, Ooh. you dumb clunkers. Clankers. <laughs> the term is clankers. Clankers. I'm calling them clunkers because I don't want to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a used car lot joke, but, you know, as opposed to take these clunkers off my hands. <laughs> right. Cash for clunkers. Remember that? We could do that. Oh, yeah. I remember that. That That is something that is within my memory banks. Mike, I'll give you five bucks for every droid unit you kill in this turn. Cash for clunkers. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, let's let's do this. I'm ready. Yep, you are first, sir. I can, Hello. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm just. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. some some things on like how I need this to go. Um, okay. Take I, your time. That's all right. Is it an existential crisis that you're going through? Because. <laughs> it's real bad. 
I you got this coming edge. in the air tonight. Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> and we just got kicked off at YouTube for copyright yep. violation. <laughs> no, it's fair use. It's transformative. <clears throat> it was transformative. We we used it. We used it in the in the criticism. Transform oh, my oh. heart from a cold dead thing to a lively beating. So oh, wow, that is that is deep. Transformative, my friend. <laughs> Can Google transformative work? <laughs> that would be <laughs> that would be probably where I should send you. Shooting the general. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, shooting the G. All right. General G. Uh, we're taking a name token. Oh, yep. I was gonna say something bad. I'm gonna keep that inside. Yeah, keep that keep that to yourself, you dirty man. <laughs> okay, well three. Three it is. Alright, I'll spend the dodge to activate block. Yep. Alright. So Spending the dodge to activate block. Oh, that gets was... a double surge. Yep. <laughs> hey, at least it's not deflect. <laughs> That's true. Now, what am I going to do oh, here is the question. Gosh. He's got these guys. This still has three dudes left in it, right? Yep. Oh, he gets the suppression. Yeah. Which... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, he's still so good here. Oh. Yeah. I mean, you definitely can get them off. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Rut row, Shaggy. You can't engage more than one unit at a time, right? Yeah, that's the trick. Like, I don't know if I can fit my base in there. Because this right. is this is one unit, right? Correct. Mr. Jones I... was grievous all along. <laughs> pulls the, He, like, just pulls the mask off, and it's <laughs> grievous from, like, infinite masks. <laughs> I mean, the question is, do I just want to murder Obi-Wan? He's got Sorosu. That's not ideal. That's Go there. That is true. Let me just see where this lands me. If I can I mean, this is, like... this is this is this is yeah. rebel. This is Luke syndrome, right? Because I mean, that's that that the negatory. No, definitely not fit. Yeah, that's uh, a hyper hyper no turbo no. And that would not give okay. me range on teal. I don't. Think. Nope. 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 Hard nope. All right. Um. That would definitely do it. Too much system two thinking, Kyle. I know. You have, to, you have to embrace your dark side powers. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. How, how um, else will you join the Sith? Right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to saber one saber on blue. Sure. There's a difference between winning and, then and I'm dominating. Gonna shoot, I'm going to shoot the bark with I the suppose. gun. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh, you dirty man. Oh, 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 oh. It's a surge. All right, so let's saber with tenacity. Two red, two black. So this is so this is getting the double tenacity proc with the uh, melee saber and then the training your Jedi arts attack. Where are your gods now? Uh, nowhere. Oh, oh bones die. Uh, four. Or no, yeah, just pierce one. Just pierce one. So one yeah, yeah. The only three. Yep. That guy. He'll probably die when I do Jedi Arts. That guy. It's actually stay. less ideal, though. I'm not gonna have much left over after this. And uh, you're gonna be fine. Bark. Everything's pistol fine. out. <laughs> yeah, so pistoling <laughs> out with the DT57. Oof. Getting one crit, one hit. I'll spend a surge. Two hits and a crit. Excuse me. Yep. All right. Let's see, two coming through. With Pierce one attached to this, Man, yep. that terrible. just kills it. All right, so we'll do the lightsaber thing. We'll do it again. And the bark has been parked. Melee dude first. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here comes some more dice. This does not have Pierce. Three. Three. Wow, two crits, one hit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, all saves, not bad. Yep. Uh, yes. He gets the suppression too again. Yep. Yes. And then against blue, no tenacity for this one. 
Hero. Three. Hero, uh, just two. I don't have any surges left. Yeah, there's no surges. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna guardian too. Okay. Uh, one of them, one of them's a crit, One's so you can. Crit. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm just gonna in one. Okay. And to expression. Lone gunman here. Yep. Crit, crit. Two crits. Uh, uh, Liberty dies right here, John. <laughs> With a hail of crits. Mm -hmm. And then last clones. We'll do Obi Wan last. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Disgusting. Wow. Two crits, two hits. Here we go. Okay. 50 50 so roll. Yeah, two clones die there. And Obi Wan. Uh, wait. Don't they get cover? Oh, you know what? They do get cover. They do get cover because it's yeah. a ranged uh, attack. All right, so, yeah. So I think, you only I think we just assumed they didn't. They weren't in cover there because. Yeah. That was behind. Uh, was... But they had suppression. So, yeah, same result. Yeah. Yep, right. and Obi Wan. Does Obi Wan have a suppression? No. Uh, no, but he's good. Okay. Oh. Dude. Dude. Oh, gosh. One hundred percent rollouts, and Obi Wan's gonna oh. take a wound. But man, that is right. quite painful. Well, at least I can like blame it on the dice now, right? Yeah, yeah. that's true. Now, now you absolutely can. Because that was crazy good. All right, so I have a total of six models left. So that's oh. a thing. Uh, yeah, so um, that's a thing. I think I, did I pull this off? I think I, I pulled this off. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know. It was just hanging out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Come you on, just killed right. Grievous for moral reasons. So I'm going to take an aim token. Yep. Yep. Whoa, or, or, <laughs> Obi-Wan's Obi mad. There it goes. Yeah, uh, I'm going to pop force reflexes. Yep. Yep. Joking. Yep. Um, he's gonna do the thing where he moves. Yep. Um, Charge. Technically base contact. Yeah. Right? One of them got moved at some point. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on, General. All right. Uh, we trigger charge. Red. Yep. Black. Two. What? No. Two white. Uh, critical two. Pierce two. Nice. Wow. Six. All right, Six. so I'm gonna reroll nice. this guy with the aim to. Come on, let's see it. Come on, seven. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm rolling nine dice because of impervious. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. No block though. This is no nine. block. This is like nine stormtrooper dice. No block. No block. No block. No block. Oh! 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 It's oh, dead. Oh, it's dead. Uh, he is dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh, we want just one Woo! shot. Agree. Right. No. Oh my God. I no. was gonna force push him into the open, but <laughs> yo. Oh, All right, man. I guess I should have saved my dodge for that one. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh wow. All right. Well, uh, so that happened. Uh... That was phenomenal. <laughs> it really, that did happen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna do some stuff. I guess. Um... <laughs> So, okay. But I still got 20 droids, baby. Here I come. <laughs> All right, support. Yeah, I still have a lot of droids. Yeah. You know, after a game like that, Mike, that must have been a feel good, you know? Yeah. yeah it was a consolation prize. Yeah, one I mean, shot in Grievous. No one way. hitting, like, knowing that it's possible to just one hit Grievous like that. <laughs> like, that feels good, I think. I mean, if I can preserve, like, my units turn. Maybe have him. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know, there's a slim chance. Yeah, it's not. I'm not like completely dead. Uh, uh, just one crit through the cover. Uh, I'm gonna. Stupid. Yep, two suppression. <laughs> nice. He's at seven. Yeah, seven. Uh, it should be. I think it should be eight. Yeah. I just. It was. Are you sure? Yeah, because we're gonna get six. Uh, I don't know. I just hit the button twice. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I'm not sure what it, he was at before. So if you I know, lost count. Dang it! Uh, no, no, what what nah. more could you want? What more I believe you. If you hit the button twice, yep. 
You're crushing it, dude. Yeah. Like, come on. Uh, he should have eight suppression. Judge. <laughs> <Right. laughs> um, all right. Well, we're going to go with that guy. Yes. Good I, luck. I don't even really want to go with that guy. No. Dang. No, I can see why. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you don't. You really, really don't. Um... Oh, there's nothing good about any of it. Um, he's typing noisily. Yeah, that's a sorry. Right. I'm sorry. Wait, well, you're writing a I, friggin' I, I novel? Am, I am go <laughs> uh, seven. Yeah. I actually am answering a question because I'm an Invader League judge. Oh. So it was a burning question. You're right though. I could have muted my microphone. You're yes. absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I apologize you for that. Yeah, too. Hey. So they're not panicking. No. Yeah, I'm in panic. Well, thank goodness. But, um, here's then, the real question. Uh, yeah. Are we supposed to cover or shoot? <laughs> yeah, that's a, a big wonder there. I would, uh, I would duck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm considering that too. I just, um. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> choices. Choices. What are we going to do, huh, boys? Yeah, I think that's what you got to do. Yep. Yeah. Just get him, get him back there. And we got fifty-four minutes left in game. <laughs> yeah, we're playing quick. Mm -hmm. My other Droidica. Okay, did you hear any of that? No. Okay, good. So that means my mute is working. Yeah, That's yes. good news. So, yeah. Um, I have, what, four units left? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I tried to give you a good game. Uh, but... I think, I think, I think that, uh, I think that one shot of Grievous redeemed it in my eyes. Yeah. That was really cool. <laughs> I mean, that was I'm pretty not, epic. I'm not that was epic. This point. He's just going to pile on that. Point. Yeah, um, I mean, gonna, he's just gonna uh, run everything onto the middle. Um, these guys, they've got two suppression tokens. This is my last activation. It's for the fine, turn. everything's fine. Um, we're all fine here. How are you? So, we're just gonna attack these guys. Cause... Just merc those boys. Yep. I mean, you got Obi Wan, he's on half health. One. He's played all his command cards, but he's yeah. still Obi-Wan. He's a good unit. Did you just block that? Yeah. <laughs> Done. Done with you. Yeah. yeah, man. I'm pretty convinced that white dice are actually the best defense dice. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm I'm done. That's my okay. shenanigans. All right, we'll roll the rally with them. So I can't yeah. strict them. Good lord. We still get two actions. What a game, AI, folks. AI what attack. A game. Did they have a face up? Yeah, they gotta do AI attack. Yeah. I got I got uh, you back. Oh man. <laughs> oh geez. <Brad>. Oh. <laughs> How costly. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad decision those droids have made. Uh, uh nothing. But nothing. nothing but suppression. Yeah. Yep. Wowzers. Uh, they're difficult. They're the slow. The tides have turned. Yeah, you're what? on speed one. Oh, you're yeah, my bad. One. You're slow, my friend. Cheating my again. Dude. I know. Gosh. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta watch this guy. Yeah, especially around difficult terrain. Uh, I mean, do you play in top down mode? Come <laughs> on. I do play in top down mode. Of course you <laughs> Seriously? Do. Ah, that explains so much because so does Luke Cook. You get to activate the rest of your units, Scott. Continue. Yep. I can Sorry, I top way. Top For um, those of you watching at home, I'm in top down mode now. Oh you're welcome. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Don't don't do that to yourself. I don't actually like oh, I can shoot some stuff still. You don't like lock it to the top down camera? I think they're also on difficult terrain there, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got yeah. You. Come on. Well <laughs> you no, take me for it. Oh, uh, a guy that's been mistaking difficult terrain the entire game. 
That's, that's what we take you for. Yeah, that is exactly what we would take you for, sir. Mm -hmm. who, who do you think you're, you see right here? The guy over here? This guy, yeah. All right. Is, is he, that... He got range? Yeah, I think so. Uh, those guys can't see. He's using, put he's using his binoculars. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, I think I see a guy over there. Uh, that guy still can't see. Stupid kneeling droid. You're going to be the first one I pull. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But, uh, you know, kneeling kneeling is an advantage, you see. Because it protects your heavy weapons from being killed. Kyle getting <laughs> cocky here. <laughs> no, No, it doesn't. Actually, it makes them worse. Just thinking he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> I mean, he's the Invader right. League Season 3 champion. Of course he can. <laughs> Alright, heavy cover. Yep. Uh, I think that's the same pool I just rolled. Yep. <laughs> um, okay. They do have a surge token, so I'll spend it. Uh, why? To oh, deflect yeah. their cover. I guess it doesn't yeah. matter. Yep. Just to just love in. spend it. Oh. oh, boo. Oh, bummer. That's too bad. It's what it is, you know? Boo. I mean, listen, it is. You're right. I'm going to just recover with these guys. Oh, I don't need to recover. I didn't. I, I think I spent my up like this turn, so I didn't need to recover. I just forgot to flip it. Um, uh -huh. And they're Convenient. just going to like hide. Yeah, how convenient. How <laughs> convenient, Mr. Difficult Terrain. This... Uh, yeah, yes. I got I gotta watch this guy in tournament, man. Yeah. <laughs> this is messy. He just does whatever he wants. We, we... I know, it's unreal. Bush League. <laughs> Seriously Bush League. Yeah. Kind of Mickey Mouse operation is he running? Right yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you know, you owe me three articles this month just for this game, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> How many could you actually get there? Hold on. Maybe, maybe two. Uh, I'm just counting. By the way, this just in from the grapevine. Mortars are... <laughs> Even though that has nothing to do with CIS versus clones. This... Mortars are what? Mortars are terrible. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, no, they're not. What are you talking about? If I had short about? troopers and mortars in this game, it would... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like... All right. Back to you, sir. Or actually, that's the turn. What do you mean, back to me? Oh. You just went five times in a row. Salt, oh. <laughs> Salt in the wound. Oh, I'm back uh. to you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you not have any activations left? Uh, I got to nominate a new commander. Yes, you uh, do. Oh, look, look at that. I'm going to do this big gray B1 unit here. Sure. Yeah, the big gray B1 unit. Hey, you should make try to make him panic. If only you had Jedi mind trick. Right? Yeah, it would have been a lot better than push. Yeah, if only you had three four slots like every other main cannon Jedi. Push against you know. standing yeah. orders, uh, ambush and standing orders. All right, so I'm gonna give an order to these brown Druidicas. Sure. And we'll trip the uplink. Go brown to foreskin to Even brown to. Gray to whatever these guys are. You've been tripping I'm all sorry. over yourself already. <laughs> what? Uh, I prefer uh, he not repeat that. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is exactly beige. what you heard. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, I, know, I, was, dark. No, I was saying you've been tripping all over yourself because you've uh, you've misremembered so many rules and it's just, uh, <laughs> it's just so sloppy and casual. I'm just, I'm yeah. disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Charlie, so I'm to like take you serious first, anymore, I guess. Kyle. Oh, I'm, um, I'm aware it's extremely hard to take me seriously, Jay. <laughs> oh, I meant Kyle from all his oh. ups today. Oh, oh yeah. Oh gosh, yes. Um, Never again. Shocked. I'm shocked. <laughs> I kind of want to call LJ and get him out of the judge of my uh, my team, my uh, Invader League. Yeah. Round robin. I don't. I don't trust <laughs> him anymore. <laughs> Just get him in here right now. 
<laughs> Call this uh, whole thing off. <clears throat> well, they can't get there, so I might as well shoot Obi Wan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could shoot this other clone unit. That might be more productive. No, shoot! What are you doing? Shoot Obi Wan. He's got three wounds still. Oh, okay. Whatever. I mean, I think it's objectively correct here to shoot. You chicken. To shoot what? Obi Wan. Why do you say that? The only like far shot way for me to possibly win this game. Oh yeah, they can't get anywhere. So that's what yeah. I mean. Like, I mean, they can they can get to here. If yes, they rally like, that off. For our viewers at home, you all should right, shoot Obi Wan right. here. Yep. Like, all right. Yeah. Yes. For, I for real. Obi-Wan. Come on. We want entertainment. All right. I mean, this isn't even entertainment. This... No, this is actually the correct play. We actually <laughs> saved him. <laughs> uh. Yeah, especially with dice like those. <laughs> uh, three blanks. No, nope. not quite. One blank. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. You got right. this, clones. I believe in you. <clears throat> I, I believe in your uh, your two Z sixes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I think they could really make a difference. <laughs> if three hundred could stand against the per entire Persian army, these uh, guys can do five something. could stand against the entire I'm sorry, these guys need a commander joke and nothing. Yeah, I don't know why they do that rule. It seems a little weird to me. I mean, it does like kind of mess up your order pool. Sometimes. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Go. See? Should have shot that. Dude, you rallied. You did it. <laughs> can, can you, like, pretend like you don't have, like, two Troidecas and, like... Okay, yeah, can you, can you pretend like they're not gonna... They're gonna survive this turn? Yeah, like, come on. Come on. <laughs> Not only that, but I have to put them entirely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. That's true. Yep. I got to touch that thing. Because, you know. And, like, this is for me to, like, just not lose badly. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, just, I don't think there's clones, any uh, stopping that. Beep boop. Can I get Oberon's range bubble real quick? <laughs> really? <laughs> Kyle's very particular. He is very meticulous, yes. Yeah, I uh, I never take anything for granted. Yeah, I Except think you've been burned on one too many times. Boy, he's really right. just rubbing it in here, huh? Must be all this. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> that was going to be bad. Oh, well, that didn't do much there. No, it didn't. Yeah, bounces off cover. I don't have any surge tokens. All right, I'm not even about to put an expression on. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, all right, well, I'm gonna pull out a stack here. These guys are gonna rally their force. Whoa! Hey! Nice. Not enough. Though. They, not they the almost that made it. Yeah. Well. For those of you that got to travel, now's a good time to go ahead and get in your cars and head home because this game <laughs> is over. Yeah, I'm going to move the stack up and that'll be it, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because you can't push them. Yep. Look, you dude. cannot force push a Droidica. Well, the thing, the thing that's relevant here is I'm probably only going to lose two to one. So. Right. That's true. <laughs> Rather than. It makes it seem a lot closer than it was. Yeah, you know. That's true. You see, if we if we only had um, some sort of point system that was not based on strength of schedule, <laughs> that reflected exactly how well you did in games. Hmm. Instead, we have it at the tournament level. Well, we got this on video, so we know how well he did. <laughs> oh, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Got him. Uh, you like your roast medium well <laughs> or rare? <laughs> uh. Uh. 
All right, good game, man. Yo, yo, it's, it's over. You're gonna get to kill Obi Wan now. Do you, Do you want me to actually try and kill Obi Wan? I don't think it matters. I no, it certainly doesn't. But you know, <laughs> I think you still have a decent opportunity to table me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Actually, yeah. There's no, there's no point though. Yeah. This looks like a table. Yeah. All right. Um, Good right. game, fellas. Game. Let's, yeah, well played. Let's do a yeah. little wrap up for our one year in review, huh? So that was uh, CIS versus clones. What do you guys? <coughs> uh, what do you guys think of the new factions? You guys happy? Uh, I Mike, mean, Mike, are you happy? So this game aside, I feel like this game actually um, stresses some of the problems with the core set, kind of. Out of mm-hmm. the box, um, I I don't think it's um, the factions are balanced very well at release against each other, and yeah. I want to I want to qualify that because I actually think that that both of them are pretty decent against the other two factions. Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't think their their asymmetric matchup between each other is very good, um, and I think this game kind of stresses that a little. Yeah. Yeah. Especially the the barks, I feel like they just, um, at least in this particular matchup, they leave a little something to be desired. They, they feel like they should have armor, to be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Or just like one or two more health. Yeah, yeah. They're just they're like kind of expensive speeder bikes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, a bark at six or seven would be a lot scarier than a bark at five. Yeah. For the same points, I mean. Well, what do you guys want to wrap this up on? So we've been we've been going at it for two hours and fifty minutes. What do you guys want to say for your one year? Well, if you're still listening or watching, yeah. they're not. <laughs> they're not right. Studies yeah, would um, show that they're not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I just want to like thank everybody. Um, you know, we appreciate you know you guys listening, and um, we hope that you enjoy it. You know, um, I hope you enjoy it at least. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you can have fun along with us. And um, yeah, it's been so it's been great just hanging out with everybody and talking Legion for a year. So and I've met so many cool people just being part of the part of the Legion community. So yeah, it's been great. Hopefully, we're having the same conversation again in a year. <laughs> maybe without me coughing so much. Yeah, maybe there you Ma- go. maybe Michael win. Well, you know. <laughs> yeah, put him up against me. I'm sure he'll he'll just kick my butt. Um, well, we may all have a chance, right? An Adepticon. So that's true. That's true. It's coming up, man. It's it's January and and March are not that far away. No, no, they're really not. Yep. Got to. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have a couple more things for these two factions by then. Hopefully, the, yeah. the tanks, and then yep. um, maybe the B twos and the phase twos. Yep. And Chile apparently already has Rex and Dooku, so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. Who the knows? Spanish cards. Hey, I mean, all I know is Google Translate told me that Dooku gifts people with with free cows. So mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll go over there. It was... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once I mean, we're yeah. So we're probably not going to talk about those until we have like official English versions floating around. Yeah. Because I don't speak Spanish. I don't know if you I guys know, speak I know Spanish. lots of people that do. So Yeah. Perfect. But in in any case, Google Translate told us that one of his cards says mm-hmm. something like when Dooku makes a touch, the defender gains two cows. I I I've gotta <laughs> believe that FFG is able to translate English into Spanish. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, sure like, that those like, that I'm speak sure Spanish. that's not actually <laughs> what it said. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know? I'm sure that it says something else, but at least Google Translate was not oh, picking up whatever. That's how he pays for his bride. That's how he gets the touch. <laughs> Two cows. <laughs> All right. All right. I think we got to wrap this up. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Um, yeah. I'm hopefully, hey, hopefully you got to watch because that probably would have been pretty hard to follow if you're not watching our game. Yeah, I'm hoping so. It was uh, fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're all fine here. Yeah, we're all fine here. <laughs> All right, should yeah. we do a sign off? Yeah, why not? I mean, yeah. All right, for the notorious scoundrels, did I do it right that time? <laughs> yeah, good job. Okay. Yeah, well done. Uh, I'm Kyle. I'm Mike. 
I'm David. I'm Jay. Stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs>